number 20. Sorry for the delay in the show. We had a few bumps in the road. You know, Lee, yeah. myself, Tyler. But we're back. And guess what? We have a lot of confessions to go over. There's been a lot of people out there doing a lot of sinning. So we're here to rectify, justify, and satisfy. Oh! Oh! In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, step into the box. Tell Jimmy and Lee your sins. <laughs> Very touching, touching, touching music. I was moved by that little background music. Yeah, I loved it. It's the spa day that I needed. Oh. Did you like my little introduction there? It was beautiful, Jimmy. You did, we've been gone for two weeks and you didn't miss a beat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been having like dreams about the show, you know, because we uh, haven't been doing it. And, uh, you know, I was thinking oh, about I some think, confessions. I know. I don't think I've even got to read many of the comments from the last show because I was busy over in the States. And when I come back, I was sick for this week. And I'll have to go read the confessions because that was the one where I did the magic tricks, wasn't it? I haven't even. <laughs> it got crazy. Oh, That's right. yeah. Yeah. You scared me with that. Yeah. You scared me. Dark magic. <laughs> yeah. The the heel, heel, magic. I, I didn't know. I didn't know he had that talent. It was it was kind of uh, it was scary. It was scary. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I was uh, you know I was explaining on the introduction why we haven't been on. It was because Lee was away and I was supposed to go and I didn't go, of course. And uh, <laughs> and then when Lee, Lee got back, you know he was sick and I had stuff going on. It was uh, just bad timing, you know. But uh, and Tyler had all those gay parades and banners. And Tyler had the, Tyler had the gay parade. He had to it's go. It's funny. Through. It's all I've been editing today. Now that you mention it, I, I just like, whew, boy, <laughs> have I been looking at drag queens for like ten hours straight. <laughs> Do you oh have anything God. you need to confess today, maybe? That doing this is, as you're editing these, you're getting a little tingle and twitch in the old down yonder? I, I do, actually. I do have a confession. Okay, okay. I've well, got a confession, but it's not where you think it's on. going. He's got a confession. Yeah, I got, you know, I got you, a You gave me an idea, Tyler. You got, next week, I'm gonna, I have a, a nice wig. I'm wearing it on the show. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to be Father Bull with a, uh, a new twist. Why don't, why don't you go get a nun's habit and wear that with the wig? <laughs> I I, that, that's that could do that also. Yes, that's a very good idea. I think I'll do the nun, the flying. Remember that show? What was that? Yeah, uh, Sally Field, the flying. Yeah, nun, the yeah. flying nun. Yeah, you have to hang was... on to it. She had the wings on the side, and all of a sudden she. Yeah, yeah. We used to actually. That was watch a pretty that. good show. I used to like that show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shit they came out with back in the sixties was amazing. <laughs> the flying nun. Why would that be offensive today if you put that TV show on the flying nun? Oh, forget about it. it would be uh, <laughs> racist, uh, a pedophile, uh, everything. Oh, no. at it. You could always do another show called the Hiding Priest. You know where they molest the and then they go into hiding. Priest. The yeah. Hiding Priest. They molest and then they go into hiding. It'd be yeah. like finding Waldo, find where we've moved the priest to. What, <laughs> what, what, what parish have we shipped him off to now? <laughs> Some like small did, town parish. Did we actually talk about that in one of the shows? We, we, oh, that was no, that was something different. We were talking about the, the young fellow under the staircase take, taking a beat from his father. Mm, that's right. That, that's was right. Something, yeah. that was something different. Yeah, that was something, yeah, that's something a little different. different. I thought that was we've the had, priest. We've spoken about a lot of things, yes. We have. Well, we're only I mean, because we, they, the people that confessed, didn't really want to go into detail. So Jimmy and I had to elaborate. go into our psychic, our psychic <laughs> an, anomalies that come from the Lord above, and we could see and visioned what was truly happening to him. Because sometimes when people confess, it's hard to bring up everything. But you know, right, thanks to the Lord and Lucifer that they give us this ability to once we hear it, we zone, we zone in on them, and we can see every action that happened to them. So it's easier for us to bring it out than irrefutably, them irrefutably. go through the hurt. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's like uh, how would you say it? like a Wi-Fi? We pick it up like a Wi-Fi. Yeah. You know, because, synchronicity. Yeah, because we, our brain yeah. does operate on electricity, so we pick yeah. up uh, signals. And you know, when yeah. these people, it's like, don't wanna... it's like when Sylvia Brown used to go on Montel. It's quite Sylvia divine. Brown? Yeah. Remember Sylvia Brown? She was a psychic that used to go on Montel Williams. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Sort of like that. that. We just have yeah. to hear a story, and all of a sudden, it's like we're watching TV. We can see this person or what they actually did and what happened to them. 
Yeah. You can, you can yeah. fill in the blanks. Yes, yes. Well, that's what happens. You know, sometimes, you know, when that's people what happens have these, people, yeah, well, that's what happens because sometimes, you know, when people go through these things of having stuff done to them, they lock it away in the basement. Like it's almost like a, their body doesn't want to remember. So they might just remember bits when they confess, but the real bad side of it has been locked away. So we just bring that out. Exactly. Mm. Well, that's what that's usually, you know, uh, uh, you know, as uh, probably Leslie, Leslie, the, uh, the psychiatrist, she would say that, yes, we lock our trauma up and that's what happens. Yeah. So something mm -hmm. bad happens. Uh, mm -hmm. We really don't remember the whole thing. We met pieces of it because, mm -hmm. like Lee said, we lock it away and we don't want to bring yeah. it out because it brings a lot while, of While it's happening yeah. to you, you why even just leave your body? So it's like an out-of-body experience. So exactly. you, could be, you could be Jimmy, but while you're being raped, you could be Tom because Jimmy has left his body and this is happening to Tom. So Tom is the one being raped. So it's not exactly. like it's happening to you. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, that's very good, Lee. You cleared some stuff up for me just now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so you got to confess, Jimmy. <laughs> Does your little 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 boy Tom need to come out and tell something? Hey, you know, I uh, was just I was just telling somebody that yesterday. <laughs> I'm saying that you know, I, I like I, I don't want to I, I don't like getting angry because when I get angry, you know, it's like you know, Mr. Hyde comes out, you know, and he and he brings all this bad yeah. shit with him, you know, and so I kind of keep that at bay, and, I, yeah. and I'm the I'm the mellow, nice guy, and mm -hmm. you know, because I don't want to. I don't want to open that door, you know, and, uh, you know, where, where a lot of, a lot yeah. of darkness comes out. Which reminds evil. me of bringing stuff out. I need to, I really do need to read the comments because that's where Jimmy confessed to licking the stuff off the chest. I need to go see what oh, people yeah. say about it. Yeah, right. I forgot I said that. Man. I oh, know. yeah, yeah. It was I, no bars held. It was, yeah, <laughs> a lot was said. <laughs> You know that's uh, another, and that's another thing too, Lee Tyler. That um, you know this here, right here in this glass here, brings a lot of truth out. So what happens is when you have one. <laughs> I, think, too I many, think Jimmy and I could yeah. work. I think Jimmy and I could work for the CIA and just interrogate people. <laughs> you know, you have one too many of these, and it depends on what type of yeah. juice you're drinking. If it's a wine, yeah. you might tell some, you know, truth. But you know, if it's like a martini with kettle one vodka, you might really yeah. go deep. You know, so. You have to be well, careful. I think, Jim, you, you, you and I could work for the CIA. They could say, listen, we need information out of this person. And Jimmy yeah. and I would just take him dressed as priest at a local bar Absolutely. and start putting drinks in him, and we'll have all the information in no time. Yeah, 100%. We'll bring a little tape. We won't even, even have to waterboard him. We'll just do that for fun later. <laughs> yeah, we'll just throw that in for an extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for just for us coming just, there just for, and just putting our, our time in, <laughs> you know, we yeah. need some entertainment. <laughs> yeah, after we water pull a few, them, tea bag them, tea bag them, water them. Pull, <laughs> pull a few fingernails off, you know. We gotta have some fun, you know. What I, mean? <laughs> I know. Yeah, but he's like, I've already given you the information. I've already told you all. I know. I said, Yeah, we're just doing this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, and then when we leave, of course, Lee will tie him to the back of the car. We drag him down the street a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get a few drain pipes on the way. You know, yeah, we'll off. make some hard turns, let them whack out some trees. You know, wrap simple, around the pole. Yeah, yeah, just some, you know, you know, some poor lady walking her dog. You know, whatever. We'll have some fun. Believe yeah. me, we'll, we'll make it entertaining for ourselves. We, by the time we get to the McDonald's drive through we're just left with a wrist and a watch on the back bumper. <laughs> We'll just get out and go to the back of the car, see whatever's left on the rope. <laughs> oh my God, we're bad, man. Oh, you see what happens to us? It's like, it's like you know, it's like a, uh, it's like a, you know, you know, it's like a, a bands, you know, like the, you know, like rock bands and band, you know, like. Mm. So it depends on what, like, you know, you, you you search for a drummer and then you finally find a guy that clicks, and then you look for a guitarist, like you know, like the story, like the by uh, the, the, the the Motley Crue story, you know. Yeah. I watched that the other night. And, uh, you know, Nicky Sticks there, he was looking for the members, you know, and the, he, they, they searched high and low and they found the singer and all of that. And and then once they once they connected and they plugged in their amps, it, it was like just magic. Oh. They just it just, you know, things were That's just not, coming are, out of the air. Are you comparing this to Motley Crue? What's that? Are you, are you just talking about Motley Crue in general or are you comparing the show to Motley Crue? 
Yeah, they're like the show. Yeah, the show. The <laughs> show. Yeah. So you know what happens is you know you get you get certain people together and they click chemically and just stuff just happens you know because it's magic it's happens. Yes. Yeah. yeah the, the you know the magic the minds that just connect. You know you you can't do that with everybody. Yeah. It's very uh. Yeah. It's like it's, it's, like, it's, meeting, you know, it's like anything of, else. Meeting of the mind. Yeah. yeah Who's Tommy like, Lee? Lee? Hmm? I guess Lee's Tommy Lee. If we're Motley Crew. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll, and I'll be. Right. Uh, That's right. I got a big cock. <laughs> yeah, come here, Pamela. So yeah, he's Tommy yeah. Lee. Yeah. And I'll be uh, the, the speed, guitarist. The What's his name? Ma- Mick Moss. I'll be, I'll be Mick Moss. Oh man, perfect, fantastic. <laughs> well, hey, I have a show update. Uh, the next time okay. Lee gets really, really dark and he condemns someone's soul to the depths of hell, uh-huh. we got a mm-hmm. sound for it. You ready? You do. Yeah. It's the it's the to, it's the tomes of hell. Oh. 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 You are condemned. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what that sounds like to me? <laughs> sounds like you're being condemned to hell. It sounds like you know the opening of the gates, and then Lee sitting there in a chair, ready for judgment. <laughs> on the big, on the big throne with the fire all around. Right, right, yeah, right. <laughs> Going farther, I have brought, I have brought you another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimmy, the, Jimmy tried the, to save him. You know, uh, Jimmy tried sit, to yeah, save him, but we won. We won out. We got you know, him. lightning on his throne as he's sitting there with the fire and the with the smoke. <laughs> Did my, did my name come up properly on the screen there today? Please enter. The exorcist. Yeah. Man, we're getting bad. What happened to us? I thought we were holy men. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, sometimes <coughs> the confession hurts. Well, you know what it is? We, I think I think Lee, myself, you, I think we we fight the evil spirits and the demons. So as, as we're, we're trying to be, it. you know, we're trying to be... It. Oh, hey, well, you don't fight. fight it. It. I'll, I'll speak it. for myself. Oh, you just succumb. <laughs> you just, just permit. You know, I guess Tyler and myself, we try to fight it a little bit. You know, because we don't those want those demons to, yeah, every day. Yeah, you know, so we try yeah. to like keep them at bay, and they keep pressing in. It's like a, well, it's like well, Jimmy, a, you know, like a, like a show, after watching these shows, Jimmy, and your confessions. That's not working. The darkness, the darkness is winning. The darkness. Is winning. I, I know. I got to shut my mouth, man. <laughs> I don't know what happens. I get on this show and everything starts just coming out. It's like, uh, you know, it's like a pregnancy. I broke my water when I come on the show. It's uh, you break yeah. your water. Holy water. On the, show? the holy water. The holy water. Holy water. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's bad. This is well, bad. Let's, let's kick but, us know. off with the first confession of the show. Oh, we Very have confessions. Good. <laughs> and with that we're back in the confession booth yes. all right this one hello fathers and tyler so hello. i was at a new york i'm uh, sorry in new york i was at a <laughs> new year's eve party and i hit <laughs> off this girl we end up in a room down the hall uh-huh. after we get finished with our activities lol <laughs> i tell her <laughs> i'm just going to go get some water just before I close the door, I hear her start throwing up all over the place. Oh, sorry, all over the oh. bed. Oh. I yeah. pretended like I didn't hear it because puke grosses me out. Uh-huh. <laughs> then I just met her oh. that night, and I never even got her first name, to be honest. The owner becomes aware that she's throwing up and kicks her out. I was outside having a little joint, and I see her stumbling out, so now I feel bad, and I offer her a ride home. But before I left, I still had the used condom in my pocket. Oh. What? Oh. I put it in the owner's shoe for kicking a vulnerable drunk girl to the curb. He should just let her sleep it off. We end up back at oh. her place. She orders a pizza. We end up doing some more activities before I bust. She asked oh. me to go on her plate. What? Wait. Before I bust, she asked me to go on her plate. So I do... She grabs another pizza slice and dips it in the frosting, eats it all. Wow, I didn't, I didn't. What a, what a champion! Next what a morning, champion! Morning, I leave. Never got her name, and I haven't spoken again. What do you think, fathers? Did I do the right thing in the end? Yeah, wow. um, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that because he treated her well. He, uh, once the owner kicked her out, he offered her a ride home. She was feeling better. They got pizza and 
she dipped it in and ate it. So she's a true champion. I don't see any confession. Oh, oh the bit where he put the condom in the that's not even because the owner kicked her out. He was an asshole, but I don't know why you'd put the used condom in your pocket if you went to the yeah, that's kind of a drink. Crazy. <coughs> you might have just thrown it away, but yeah, putting it in the shoe. Nothing wrong with that. I see nothing, no harm, no foul in this one. Right. Oh, boy. Jimmy, are you some extra cheese, extra cheese sauce on the pizza? I I was kind of enjoying the story a little bit. And then when he got to the plate part, um, so we're talking about he, he, uh, okay, okay, Mr. Okay, Mr. Chest, chest liquor. Okay, Mr. Chest liquor. You can't can't relate. I'm trying to be good here. I'm trying to be good. Okay. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to start off good. Well, okay. So, <laughs> okay. I'll give you. I'll give you ten minutes, Grace. Yeah, <laughs> give me ten, fifteen <laughs> minutes, will you? So, uh, <laughs> so the, the plate thing. Uh, she. So, out of, in other words, he was uh, having the doing the thing with her, and all of a sudden, she they were having pizza, and then he she said, "Can you do it on the plate?" Yeah. That, mm. So, like, yeah. I. So he, there was a plate in the area, and he just happened to grab the plate. And uh, why did why didn't he just do it on the slice of pizza? Oh God! Yeah, that would make more sense, Lee. Yeah, because, why wouldn't you, you know? Do that? You, that yeah, you got. I mean, like I've been in many hotel rooms, and uh, I I haven't had a plate readily available. Was it a hotel know, so. room, or was it? The, I think no, he's back at her place now, so she's got the plate there. Oh, so they probably okay. had plates when they ordered. Is the that pizza, what it was, Tyler? The pizza on the, yeah, yeah, we no. yes, yeah. We didn't get yeah. like any specifics. You know, sometimes the pizza place. Yeah, the he drove her home. He it's said he true. drove her home, so I'm guessing it was in her place. So. Yeah, it was in her place. Oh, yeah. Okay, because you know they have to be a little more for us to determine the situation and analyze it and justify it. And just fill the blanks. We need a little more detail. So he was saying that he pulled the plate. I'm thinking they're at a hotel room. Where's he getting a plate? You know, because <laughs> I've, I've been in many hotel He's rooms. Worried about the details. What was that? You worried about the details here? Yeah, we need the details. Absolutely, I want to hear. I want. I like the the juicy details. All right. So, all right. So let's just figure he was out of house. Mm-hmm. She said, "I can. I can I, assume that much." Okay. So yeah. I, I. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I don't know if I entirely believe the story because. Oh. You know, you're in the heat of oh, the moment. You doubt her. You, you know, and you, I'm, I'm being a little. I'm being a little. Yeah, I'm being a little spectacle because, listen. You're in the heat of it, you know. You're the sex. You're going like mm-hmm. and All of a sudden, she stops. Says, "Look, you do me a favor. Can you grab a plate out of the, the cupboard." <laughs> can you do me a no, favor and get a plate. <laughs> I mean, come on, you think well, about he, it. She might, have, she might have been on a period, and he dipped the French fries in the pussy. No, <laughs> don't. That's not. Oh, dude, how do you? Where does that come from? Well, Lee's, doesn't Lee's, everyone do Lee, that? Lee has. Uh, he has a lot of confessions, Lee. <laughs> So, uh, you know, that so that, that's why I, I, I no, it's not. It's definitely not. I don't care how down under you go. <laughs> yeah, well, at least really down under. So here, so <laughs> the thing is, you know, I I, won't, I, won't I, tell I have you about the chocolate covered strawberries. Then will I? No. No, you did not. <laughs> Look at him. He leans back in the chair. If he says that. Uh, so anyway, uh, I don't. I I have to confess. Oh. I don't. I don't. I don't believe the uh, the end of that story. I'm sorry. I do. Really? I do. Now, the, plate, it's plausible to me. the pizza, the plate, uh, I don't know. She no. dipped it in like no, it was, look, uh, they, they went like to her a, house. You know when you go to pizza. Arby's and you, you the pizza, dip the roast The pizza oh, turns yeah. up, Jimmy. The pizza turns yeah, up. Yeah, he says we ordered, she ordered a pizza. We end up yeah. doing activities. Before I yeah. bust, she asked me to go on her plate. Yeah. So she, They got the pizza. They sat on the coffee table. She got some plates to put the pizza on. <laughs> they got a little bit horny before they ate the pizza. They started doing She goes, oh, wait. I right got a good before. idea. She's laying on the couch. She's looking at the plates, looking at the pizza. Yeah. So I got a great idea. Not on the yeah. plate. Then when they do that, he nuts on the plate. Then she dips it in her. Ew. I can't imagine. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. No. Listen, I've done some sick shit in my life. <laughs> I know, but dip it up. Slice well, it? I, I just can't really. I I I can't go oh, yeah. because yeah. Next you know, week, he, I, next I, week I, when you come on, tell him to tell you not on the hot dog. we fucking. <laughs> no, I mean, at the, at least, think about it, Tyler. Come on. You, 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 no, you, I, you, I, I, the, a dessert, the, I, a dessert you, item makes more sense if, if we're gonna go that route. No. You know, if you're on the couch and you're doing it, and the plate's right there, and we gotta do is reach over. Pull it out, put the plate under it, catch the drippings, and then you Something dip it in. Something about that is like extra gag-inducing, like semen and pizza combined. 
Oh, well, I know. Be no different the anchovies on it. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather anchovies. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Listen, all I know is that when I myself go to the bathroom, I can't stand the smell in the bathroom myself. So, I mean, I can't imagine that this, this they, they, were, they were having sex before the pizza. And then after they had the sex and the pizza was available, she took a paper plate and said, do me a favor, Ralph. Could you, could Ralph! you, you know, could you like, you know, like let one go on this plate? And then Ralph got up and said, yeah, oh, honey, come on the plate, and, Jimmy. Not shit on it. He didn't shit on the plate. He come on it. I know. I was going to say, like, going to the bathroom is different than nutting on a piece of pizza. Yeah. Oh, he, wait he come on the plate. I, I, I'm confused here. Wait a minute now. I, so well, he come on the plate, Jimmy. I thought, he, Jimmy, he, thought he I thought you. I thought you were saying he 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 swung around and dropped his drawers, <laughs> and he let one out of the shaft. You know, you know Jimmy. Then, wow. Jimmy, where's your no, mind? At? Grow up. Grow up, young man. Where's your mind? At? He come. He come on the plate. <laughs> he come on the plate, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. I digress. Listen to me, Jimmy. <laughs> I Listen to the bells of hell. <laughs> Where are you, Jimmy? Get back on track. Uh, I, I I have to apologize. I <laughs> he I nodded on the plate. I like those bells, the man. It really sets the mood. <laughs> yeah, I, it's pretty I, dark. Thought, I thought he dumped on the plate. No. And no, then she was deep and dipping her cheese pizza <laughs> no. in the dump. He was, and, he you know, busted, I was gonna say don't, don't put your fantasies on them, Jimmy. Let them have the limelight. <laughs> Oh Tell us, okay, Jimmy. Uh, Tell us your poop story. Uh, oh, yeah, what's your poop confession? Let oh it out. There's something in there you need to tell us because you're leading into what is, what is it, Jimmy? Oh my God. Well, I don't really Jimmy, have when did you many... poop on someone, Jimmy? Did you when did you poop on someone? someone? Jimmy? When did you poop on someone, Jimmy? It's okay. You're in safe hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You're my <laughs> friend. <laughs> Leave it dial. I'm safe. I'm safe. Now, the only poop story I really have is, uh, uh -huh. but you got one. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do have one. Yeah, uh, was uh, you know years ago. This is when I was very young, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, foolish. And, yeah, just say that. Yeah, just say that for yeah. all purpose sake. Say yeah, that. And, uh, you we can know, dismiss and, uh, it. I was uh, doing a young woman in the in the in the, in the rear, you know, mm -hmm. and um, naturally when I came out mm. there was some uh chocolate pudding on the shuttle uh, yeah i was I, I pulled the pipe out and it had some some chocolate pudding on it uh. and uh i was about Did to you make grab, her you know, lick it off no what happened i was going to grab a, a tissue in her she had a tissue box and i was going to yeah. reach for it and like i, I was a little yeah. i was a little mortified you know and uh yeah. she said no hold no no and she grabbed my hand, you know, and she got it down on her knees in front of me and proceeded to clean the chocolate pudding uh, off the chasseau. With what her mouth? Trooper. Yes, yes, yes. No. And, uh, I, and then, I didn't know then, what to then, say. Then, I was then, just Jimmy, standing then, there with my mouth open. <laughs> I was kind of just standing you there did. like... You did. You know, sick bastard. You kissed her after that. I fucking know it. After, after I was, you nutted I was, in her mouth, you I fucking was kissed her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm I, sure I you have were. to say, it was a, uh, it was an amazing night. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> now, now get to the point. Once, once you nutted, once you nutted in her mouth, did you kiss her? Be honest. Lord well, I, 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 she just after she was done, it was clean. Then she got up and started making out, and you know, oh. yeah, and uh -huh. we proceeded back, uh, back down onto the it. mattress, and uh, we continued. That was, uh, oh. I was like a two by four at that point, you know. What I mean, so I had to, I had to continue, oh. you know. It was, it oh was yeah, bad. it was bad. I'm confessing. I'm, I'm confessing on the well, show. Imagine, I imagine if you kept her as a girlfriend, uh, kept her as a girlfriend and a wife. Think of over the years how much money you could have saved on toilet paper. You know? <laughs> it can't work. Each, each time you took a dump, she, every time you took a dump, she could just come in. It yeah, it just uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we're bad, man. This uh, this show is going very low. It's incredible. <laughs> it's so derogatory. It's just like it's, it's not redeemable. <laughs> I, I feel like I knew, uh, I knew he had a story there though. The way he went straight to shit on the plate, I knew there was something in his subconscious <laughs> that wanting to come out. I knew you it know, was there. I knew it. This this Lee, Tyler, this show was starting to remind me of the water park I used to go on as a kid. I used to go on this slide called the Geronimo. <laughs> and it was straight uh -huh. down. But this you know? show reminds me of a water yeah. park. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this, this what, what happened was... at that water park, Jimmy? Yeah. I mean, for you to say that there's something in that water park that happened to you, what happened at the water park? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Well, what happened was, you know, you know, usually when you go to these amusement parks, there's always like a, somebody at the top of the slide to help you sit down and, mm-hmm. yes. you know, say, keep your mm-hmm. arms in and, you know, do all that. You know, mm-hmm. so I have to be a cute, you know, a cute lady up there. And uh, mm-hmm. I got on the slide and uh, <laughs> she patted me on the butt, you know, like that, oh. sent me down the slide. Mm-hmm. You know, it was the Geronimo. And that's why I never forget it. Mm-hmm. So uh, what happened was uh, I started, I, you know, I went back up the ladder and I did it several times because every time I went down, she would rub my shoulder, she'd pat my butt, you know, down the slide, mm. you know. So, so you're you know, sort of you know, getting molested, molested at a young age for going down the yeah, slide. Yeah. So <laughs> is I was, that what uh, this is? Were what you was getting that? wood? Were you getting wood when she was patting you, Jimmy? I was, I was. So when I was I knew it. going I knew down, it. The... fucking knew it. <laughs> Look at you. How many, how when many I... times did you go on the slide before you? Oh, I, 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 I tell you, I tell you the truth. I, I think it was like the third time when I, I, when I hit the water, <laughs> I, uh, I, I started pulling on it a little bit, you know, to before I got out of the water because uh, this woman <laughs> excited me really to the to the max. And, uh, and she was probably you know, wearing a bikini up there. Was she? She had a bikini. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. Yes, yes, she had the. You know, big, mm. the whole thing, big chest, you know, small, thin, you know, uh, she laid a couple of times. I think she actually laid her, her chest on my head before I went down and then tapped mm. me. You know, she was doing the whole thing to me. And it was, it was uh, very uh, memorable, very memorable. She's thinking, God, this guy, this young kid's cardio fit, he gets all the way up the stairs so fast to come back on the <laughs> road again. <laughs> yeah, so they uh, they closed that water park down. That's a shame. But yeah, why, no, why is that? Too many sexual allegations? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I it, it was in New Jersey somewhere. I forget the name of it, but it's, it's gone now. But I, I digress. I digress. Mm-hmm. I, I've had many experiences like that, Lee. You know, you know, you never, you never <laughs> been anywhere where you got ex- just excited. If some, some person was, you know, at the supermarket no. or behind the cashier. You know, and you're like extra friendly no. to her, and she's extra. No, uh, no. it's a shame. Maybe it's you a, should, maybe you should be the evil one here, not me. I'm the wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, I think it's, that's it's, why. I, that's see. That's why. See, because I accept it all, and I've never had things like that. But I think Jimmy's had the life of debauchery and stuff. That that's why he's turned to God to try and ask for forgiveness and yeah. <laughs> all the sins that he's committed over the years. That you know, he's had to turn to God. I, ha- I think to me, you know, I, I don't know. I know. I know relationships are important and all that. There and you know, the uh, the, the the you know the arrangement of, an, of a marriage and all mm-hmm. that. I am you know the mm-hmm. institution. I understand all that, but I think the experience I've had in my past as a youngster that the spontaneous mm-hmm. stuff was always the best. You know, when yep. you didn't expect it and it happened. I, I picked up this chick one time and she was well, no working one, no, in the no meat department. Expects, no one ever expects rape, Jimmy. That's the exciting part about it. For the rape <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't that extreme. <laughs> Nothing worse but if I, you know it's coming, then it's not really that shock value, is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I like the shock value. So anyway, make a yeah. long story short, I was actually at the supermarket and I used to go and there was this beautiful little blonde girl working in the meat department with the white coat oh, on and everything. Just and I just to be the meat I, department. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, anyway, make a long story short, you know, I was friendly to her. I said, what do you got? She goes, oh, I got this beautiful steak. We just cut all night, you know, and I would go there periodically and she's always mm-hmm. like kind of flirting. So I asked her, uh, I said, how would you like to go out? You know, it was the summertime. I said, well, I'm hitting mm-hmm. the beach this weekend. Would you like to go? Yeah, sure. So I picked her up and we ended up going uh, to the beach, you know. How long before and you gave her your sausage in the meat department? <laughs> yeah, I bring my sausage. So anyway, we, 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 we get to the beach and we're hanging out mm-hmm. and... Uh, all of a sudden, you know, she's uh, this is like towards the end of the day. I always like to go to the beach around three, four o'clock. It's for my favorite time. Oh, yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of people are starting to leave already, and the sun's not mm-hmm. too hot, and you can relax. So we went up yeah. kind of by the dunes, and we were. And when, and the... when you got to chase them too, it's easier to chase them in the dark. They lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when they run through the dunes, it's nice. The, the you know the cat yeah, house yeah. game. It's, it is nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, eventually, you know, what happened was she got, a, you know, she sat on top of me. She was, you know, rubbing my shoes. Oh, that was, you know, oh. anxiety, you know, and then there, there was still a lot of families around and stuff like that. And then she had a blank, like a towel around her uh, bikini and uh, she sat on me and she kind of slid it to the side. We were like wow. actually having sex on Ooh. the beach with all the families there and everything right in the in broad daylight. You know, I, it was very exciting. Very exciting. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
And those Boy, those are the it. those are the things that uh, yeah I never forget you know. Uh, and this all started <clears> from the meat department at the grocery uh, store. All started from the meat department, man. Yeah. Yep, it was. I never Imagine forget that. that. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to look anyway, out for those meat department girls. Got to. Got to and then I, 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 she, I wonder where she is today. Still working in the meat department. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I have. I, I don't know what happened. You know. But I've done many things like that, at least, Tyler, in the past. You know, I well, one time she probably, she brother, probably had a child that you don't even know about. Probably, yeah, yeah, could be. You know, I mean, I, I like one time we were riding down the road, me and my brother in the van. You know, because we used to work together and uh, make mm -hmm. a long story short, the van, the van, Tyler, the van. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just want, I, you know. So this, I'm not going to uh, question it. We're, we're stuck in this, you know, construction, the barrels of the men work, you know, and there's this girl at the end, you know, with the, she's got the flag, you know, flag in the cars, you know, mm -hmm. blonde hair coming out from under a helmet, you know, my, my brother's like, uh, Jimmy, I says, yeah, Anthony. he goes, I, I, I bet you a hundred bucks right now, you can't get that girl's number. I says, oh, I'll get her number, don't worry. So as we flew <laughs> slowly itching up with the car because of the traffic, we get up there and she's flagging. And I said, hey, how you doing? She's, hi. I said, hey, you know, I said, you look beautiful with that flag and that hat. You know, said, oh, thank you. And I said, you know, it's pretty, you know, pretty fit you. I says, uh, listen, how would you like to go out one night and you grab some dinner? So she goes, I would love that. I said, I, got, I got her number. No, it's a true story. I ended up taking her out too and uh, banging her in some field somewhere. I don't know what happened, but you know, oh, I just, I, 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 you know, field yeah, it was always field. beautiful, beautiful. I've actually told this other story that one time I was, I used to go to the ceramic store. I'm not going to tell you when I got friendly. One like of everyone girls. does. Everyone goes, you know, what is this? <laughs> did you go there making pots like fucking goats? What? What is this? <laughs> so I, I ended up talking to one of the sales girls. I got very friendly with her. And uh, oh, ceramic store. <laughs> We ended up going on a couple of dates, and I ended up in the woods with her. In the middle, I think it was the middle of February or March. It was freezing out, and uh, we left. Then why'd you go to the woods for then? Why'd you go in the woods? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, man. I don't know why I ended up in the woods, but anyway, we did. We ended up in a field, <laughs> and uh, and you know, I I took my trousers down and I and I laid on there because she wanted to ride me, you know. So when <clears throat> I laid down, and 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 she was we were doing the whole thing. She got up. And uh, I couldn't get up. I, I, she says, "What's the matter?" I says, "My ass cheeks are frozen to the ground." I said, "I can't, oh, no. I can't get." So she had a, she had a, she had to go to the car, and get a beer, and she had to like <laughs> pour the beer around my buttocks, you know, so my cheeks would come off the ice because I was stuck to the ice <laughs> on, the ground, you know, on my cheeks. I, I had red burns on my cheeks for like I don't know months after that, you know, well into the summer. You know, so I never forgot yeah. her. So every time I got yeah, her to the shower, she had, she had I, red burns on her flaps too from the chlamydia, but it's okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I have, I have a lot of, a lot of confessions. Look at that. We've had, we've had like three different Jimmy stories: the beach, in, in the, in yeah. the woods, in the field. <laughs> And you know the one I always told on Dave's story, you know the horse stable. That was a good one. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. I think it's your favorite one. If you that is like my favorite one. one. I don't know what it is about that story. It was like in the heat of the summer night. I used to go up yeah. to the stables right, right around midnight. The smell of the hay. The smell of the hay. And the, horse, and story. the hay, the muck, the horse shit, the whole thing, you know. And I'd be the and horse go, shit. Oh yeah, it was just the whole ambiance, you know. You hear the horses uh, kicking, and you know, and you're in the, and you're in the it's stable. Hot. And it's uh, hot. listen, it's a sexy yeah, environment. You know, Jim, it's you know, very you know, exciting. Now, you, know. you know, watch your watch your little house on the prairies like a porn <laughs> over Jimmy. Oh yeah. <laughs> when Lauren <laughs> Eagles goes to the on. stables, Jimmy just fucking loses it. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, anyway, make a long story short, you know, uh, this girl used to make me this concoction. You know, I used to be very heavy at the training in those days and I used to get elbow pain or whatever. So she used mm -hmm. to make this stuff for me. Uh, it was, uh, it was called, it was butte. It was, it was a horse pill, uh, you know, aspirin. It was about yay big. Oh, yeah. And she used to crush it up and, uh, she, I forget what liquid she put in there. It, it, it cleans vinyl. Oh. Uh, I forget the name of it. So we, it draws. Once you mix it up with the beauty, you mix oh, it, it up like, like that a, MS, MSM stuff, whatever. Yeah, yeah, or... some, that's what it was. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. It draws uh, stuff into the skin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she used to mix the beauty with that, you know. And uh, you'd rub it on the elbow, you know, and, and it, 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 the, the, the MSM, whatever you say, like, you know, would suck it into the joint. And, you know, I was able to train her. You know, but there was a trade-off. I had to, you know, she, she liked me, and I really didn't 
you know, I wasn't really into her 100%, but I knew her from a, a friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, the trade off was I had to give her mm -hmm. a service for the. Oh, that's for okay. The, uh, as long as Jimmy just, Jimmy just focused on the horse while he was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ooh. Like, so yeah, you know, well, lo and behold, you've never seen you've never seen such a beautiful pinto horse in your life. The buttocks on the horse, the firmness, uh, muscular. Uh, so you know, I I you know I I have that you know every time I pass a, a horse stable and I get a whiff of the horse mm. shit if I'm, if I'm driving somewhere, you know, I go right back to that story because when I oh, oh every God, time you know. every time he watches the old TV show Lone Ranger, he starts beating at the Tonto's horse and, 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 and he, he, silver. Hey. You yeah, see we have, silver come on the screen and just fucking nuts. We have horses <laughs> right over here around the corner. The, you know, the, uh -huh. the, 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 yeah, what a, what a coincidence. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I briefly, you know, it was, uh, it was, uh, the farmer's looking out his window. Ethel, <laughs> Ethel, that black Jeep's up against the fence again. <laughs> Ethel, I don't know why the black Jeep keeps parking over there on the fence line. <laughs> yeah, you know, mo mo most creeps go to schoolyards and watch kids. I go to, I go <laughs> to the, the, I go to the horses. <laughs> I go to the stable. <laughs> Jimmy just pulls Poor up horses. alongside like, the equestrian event. <laughs> Jimmy's looking at the brochure. Hmm. When's the next equestrian event on here yeah. in Huntington? When's the next equestrian event? Because I'm like blacklist for equestrian events. Yeah. When's the next polo game? I used to do that down in Florida. Oh, yeah. so I have more stories with that. But anyway, make a long story short, you know, I used to service her after she gave me the uh, concoction. Uh -huh. Oh, DMSO. That was it, Lee. Yes, yeah, DMSO. Yeah. That's yeah, that it, was, yeah. That was, yeah, yeah. So, um, anyway, when I was servicing her in the stable. And you know, you know it's the M and S in it. <laughs> yeah, D DMSO. Yeah, I remember that stuff. Yeah. It was actually used for cleaning vinyl records, believe it or not. So anyway, oh God. I used to sh I used to service her in the store, you know, and after like a few minutes, you know, she'd be hanging on to the, you know, the store, the wood thing, you know, and I'd be going on. And mm. uh, it, the horses be going crazy. You know, <laughs> Did she make horse noise? Did you make her go? <laughs> I, I actually did it. But anyway, you make a little story, you know. <laughs> The horses would start rearing up, and you know, like they oh. knew what was going on. It was like weird, you know what I mean? It's but, like uh, nature, nature taking its course. Yeah, then, that then is we had the bizarre. Then we went, we ended up outside with one of the. I'm uh, just glad Jimmy uh, wasn't on Noah's Ark back in the day. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and then the best was I ended up uh, with another ex girlfriend of mine. Uh, oh, I, I thought you were going to say you just ended up with the yeah. horse in the end and didn't even worry oh, about man, it. Oh, man, we can't talk. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to talk about that on the show. Her father had uh, polo horses, you know, so we used to ride them. This is down in, 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 in Florida, and actually up here, too, he had them. But uh, yeah, one mm. night we got drunk, and we were riding the horses and the oh. fields, and the, the moonlight was tremendous that night. And we're, we're riding at night, you know, and I was bombed. I had about the 20 Budweiser's in me. And we ended up going back to the stable, and mm. uh, we were in one of the horse trailers. Oh. And uh, we were going at it, and uh, the, the horse trails are metal, so she was holding on mm -hmm. to the, the thing, and it was like, you know, bang it, pop, 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 you know, and I'm going back <laughs> behind it. The moon was out full, you know, nice, was about 80 something degrees out, you know, the stars. Yeah. And here I am doing my thing, and she's holding on to the, the railing, you know, and the horses are going crazy. I tell you, it was a very, uh, very dramatic uh, uh, evening. I'll, I'll never forget it, actually. It was, it was quite nice. Actually. Beautiful. The way you just set it up there yeah. with the sun, the temperature, the fucking. Oh, oh it, was, it was beautiful. It was warm yeah. out. The moon was out, you know, had a little breeze. I was going from the rear, you know. I, I don't want to tell you about the part with it's the It's amazing how we've had one confession and Jimmy's given about six already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's filling it in. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a donkey, but I'll, I'm going to save that for another okay, time. Okay, we'll save yeah. the donkey for another <laughs> <laughs> The donkeys were going wild. Uh, no, a little more than that. And one of the donkeys got involved. But I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, oh, I wonder, oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy loves watching Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that movie. Are you kidding me? I watched Ooh, it about 30 times. Ooh, Ooh. Eddie Murphy does a little extra for him. Eddie Murphy, yeah. yeah he did. When, he, when, he was, when he was younger, you know, Jimmy's first porno was Winnie the Pooh. When Eeyore come on, he just fucking lost it. Good God. Oh, God. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so that's you know I wouldn't say they were really bad stories, but you know they were they were you know okay. But back back you know. to the confessions, Jimmy. Um, I want you to know that he nutted on the plate and he and she dipped the pizza in the cum. Now it have come full circle. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Well, theory, I have true. to say that's that's uh, 
that's a little erotic. That's a nice story. I like yeah. that story. Yeah, yeah. That's better than the other thing. I thought the I thought he did the yeah, other thing. I don't know, I don't know like, how you got to that other thing. It's like yeah. Well, I've I've uh, I've had experience uh, oh, we just heard for the last half yeah. hour. <laughs> I think it's depraved and I don't know what I think if a woman did that 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 act with pizza with my uh, own in the heat of the moment you'd like it. Come on. You talk about with the, uh, the. I don't the, think I'd be like you know get out as too much, but no. I don't know as long as she doesn't ask you awesome. to share it, as long as she eats it, it's okay. Why he he told her to get out after that? No, no he, Tyler's he, just being rude to her now. Yeah, I'm just I'm just <laughs> my own two cents that I don't need. <laughs> Tyler's I kicking her out. I have to I have to that. agree with Lee. If I had if I was with a woman and I and I ejaculated into a paper plate, and she was dipping her pizza in there, and I was watching her eat the pizza. With the drippings, I, I think I'd be a little excited about that. Oh process. man! Yeah, I think I, say, I would say, why'd you do that to the pizza? I think that would turn me. On. I think I would like share it with her. Like after she took a bite, I know you would. Oh, you'd be like, you'd be like, you'd be like, you'd be like, you'd be like Mama Bird. She'd be chewing the pizza and dripping it into your mouth. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Uh, show oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy would be right under that. He wouldn't be letting her eat at all. You know what it is, Lee? It's that freaking red light that Tyler's got on there, man. Oh, no. you know? Just brings the bad spirit out, man. Really Apparently. <laughs> Damn. This is crazy. Oh, all God. right. Well, we can we can make it a little more lighthearted. I got a two-parter that's a little, little lighthearted. <laughs> we got a two-parter. I found it a You're talking to Lee and myself, Tyler. It wouldn't be lighthearted. Yeah, thing. you'll make you'll make it dark sided somehow, I'm sure. No, but it's a two we're part back one. in the booth. It's a two part. Two part. You know, someone in the gym. Mm -hmm. Who is this fuckboy with the sports bike? I'm trying to do a show! Goddamn. Do you hear that shit? No. No. You can't hear it. Oh, like this Suzuki. Alright, we got good noise cancel. Oh, you even know the brand of it, do you? Can you just play the sound? It sounds like it. Alright, like Suzuki Tyler. Yeah, yeah, the ninja. Kawasaki. <laughs> Hi, Tyler. Father Jimmy and Lee. Big fan of the show. I started going to a new gym back in May last year. And a there new are a lot of hot young girls working out here. Did he say already. a new gym? Jesus. I Okay, here's a real big, here, here's an important, crucial part of this. Hold on. Did, did you say new gym or a new gym? A new. Any w. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought he said that too, Lee. I thought he said a new I know. It's like gym. a new I was like, wow, I never thought of no, something like that. That's, that's actually that's interesting. A, that might be a good idea. You guys better write that one down. You know, could yeah. you imagine, man? I would. That would be really. There's a nude. Else. Everything else, you should have a nude. Yeah. Gym. That would be crazy. That would be not, probably that. down to Palm Springs somewhere. That's where I have all yeah. the nude clubs, the nude, yeah, uh, yeah places. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, new gym back in May last year. <laughs> a lot of hot girls working out there. Yeah. I don't wear glasses. <clears throat> Makes an important note. I don't wear glasses inside the gym, so I can't see far. But I noticed that I'm being looked at by some of them, literally. Oh. <laughs> how can you tell? Himself, doesn't he? How can you tell if they're in you? He wants yeah. you guys to help him find out. How do you start yeah. a maybe conversation? They're, maybe they're looking. Well, is he good looking? Did he say whether he's good looking? They could be the one because he looks. He gave nothing about how he looks. He might like, look like wondering. a weirdo. He could look weird. That's why they're staring at him like, oh my god, look at that weirdo. Or, yeah. That's true. How do you start a conversation without being a weirdo? And if you misread her signal or she already have a boyfriend, what's a good exit strategy? Thank you all. God bless. That's the first. You just part. gotta. You just smile and say hello, and then just see if the conversation goes from there. Sometimes they might go, "Oh hi, how are you? Go good, thank you. How are you going?" And then carry on from there. You're not gonna know at first if she's got a boyfriend or not. That's it's true. You're not. You're not fucking Nostradamus. So you just you can gotta, just be human at first. That's a good yeah, start. Yeah, just be, yeah, just talk to her normal. Just be like, hi, how are you? Good, good going, yeah. Yeah, I see you're working out hard. That's good. Yeah, just general chit-chat and just see if it goes. You can normally read people if they want to keep the conversation going or if they're going to just sort of push it to the side. So, yeah, yeah just don't just don't be a creep about it, like. <laughs> <laughs> Little emotional intelligence required. Yes, yes. Yes, you got to read the room. You, you can pick up on things pretty easy sometimes. So, well, you, you know what? There is that thing though. It's like if if you do find the girl attractive, you have to like take a moment and be like, "It's a human being. I can just mm -hmm. chill the fuck out and talk to them like a human." You mm -hmm. know, that's my two cents, Jimmy. And you can tell too if you say she got earbuds in, you go, "Hi, how?" And she goes, "Excuse me." You go, "Hi, how?" And she goes, "Good." 
and puts them back in and turns away, then you know the conversation's yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell because sometimes women could be overly friendly and then you get the wrong signal. Oh, you yeah, guys make that mistake, Lord knows. Yes, yes, yeah. because a, a woman could be just a generally nice person, and you, and you go over and you say, hi, are you using that five-pound plate? You know, <laughs> And she'll say, uh, no, would you like it? And then all of a sudden, you know, she's engaging the conversation. Oh, would you do like anything it? to would me? I like it. <laughs> 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 so uh, notice I said a five-pound plate. Anyway, make a long story short, I think, you know, it, 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 it is a hard thing to really realize if a female mm -hmm. is liking you or not, you know, I mean, uh, the the really the the real ultimate test would be after a conversation if she engages and you're having a good one going back and forth, you have to ask the question, you know, how would you, would you like to go to dinner one night and we could you know mm -hmm. chat over a glass of wine, you know? Or well, might even be a gym that has like a protein bar, so after the workout you can probably get a shake and just hang out there. Well, if that's the type of gym, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah. see if she comes over and gets a shake and has little chit chat conversation with you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some when you leave have, the gym, uh, when you leave the yeah. gym, if there's a Porsche or Ferrari parked there, act like you're walking towards that, <laughs> and, you're definitely, definitely. and maybe you even get in it. <laughs> it <would be> so <laughs> just so, ask the owner yeah. of the gym, can I just go sit in your car for a minute? <laughs> yeah, so some places have a cafe where you can actually get a shake yeah. and sit down and have tables, you mm. know. So you could do that. Ask her, would you like to get a shake, whatever, you know? And if she says, no, I really got, I got an appointment, I got to run, you know. I got to get home so, to my you know, boyfriend. Yeah, so that's really you know some some women don't even want to mention if they have a boyfriend because if they like you yeah. and they have a boyfriend and maybe it's mm -hmm. so so short relationship for number two yeah. right yeah so you gotta oh, be shit. so that's a that's a very wide you know wide range uh, answer there you know what you're looking for mm. it's uh, you have to you have to dive in that's the only way to find yeah. out you know it's the old story like you know you you're at the edge edge of a pond and you 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 know you never really swam before and you say to yourself. You know, I wonder if I could swim. What are you, you going to do? You're going to go for less? No, dive in and you see what happens. You know, you drown or you, you, are you going to you going to swim? Oh, great, great story. Lots Most people stuff. drown. Most people drown. Jimmy. Right, right. A lot of people drown. Right? <laughs> yeah. So that's my my that's advice. Okay, just uh, go for it. Man. Hell for committing suicide. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> we have a special place for those people. Lee. <laughs> dive in. <laughs> oh man, sounds yeah. like. And it's filling up fast. <laughs> oh, that's Special the program. hour for another confession. <laughs> yes, uh, I like that. Look at that, so, right on time. You know, we should have that, yeah, like, at a, we, that we should have something like that, like at a, like at a hospital, Tyler. Every time the confession comes oh, in, God. the bells go off, you know? And then the mist rolls in and the Grim Reaper emerges. Or yeah, every time I the like patient that. dies or something. We're going to have to like, expand a little bit our show. We're going to have to do a little more special effects i think we're gonna get into it yet go ahead tyler <laughs> okay so this is the number two same person hi tyler father jimmy and lee again i also have another story that i need your help over the weekends i go to the gym i do my cardio and i usually hit the steam sauna hold on i'm having connection issues i gotta i'm gonna switch off the wi-fi hold on oh okay hanging tight we'll just put a little acoustic cinema Now waiting for reconnection. Yeah, I like that. Hello, that's beautiful. Welcome to Mary Wood. That, that was indeed. like you know, you know, Lee. When you're making a phone call to doctor's office and the nurse answers, and you say, uh, mm -hmm. "Is doctor so?" They say, "Hold on a minute," and that's what that's mm -hmm. what happened. That's like the elevator, did. elevator music. Yeah, we put the yeah. show on hold for you, and we had the music playing. Like it almost sounds way. like a sounded like a like air supply about to sing a song. <laughs> Fucking air supply. Oh man. Hey, nothing wrong with air supply. Nothing. It's just like I haven't heard that referenced in a minute. That was awesome. Okay, so we're back. Who less uh, the people in the world? <laughs> it's our yeah, same I, I boy really from the last the profession. He's got another story. He needs your help. On the weekends, oh. you go to the gym, do his cardio. Usually, he hits the steam sauna for ten to fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. One time, there was a guy who was in a sauna with him, and he kept staring at him. Mm -hmm. He tried to avoid Thank eye God. contact as much as possible. <laughs> Keep in mind, he doesn't wear glasses at the gym, so he's That's not the same guy. Is this, is this the same guy? <laughs> yeah, he really makes a point. Like, I don't wear glasses. 
I can't tell who's looking at me, really. <laughs> it's very steamy as well, so it's hard to see. But I pretend to twist Yo. my back. I take a quick glance. The guy was staring at me. He was rubbing yeah. his, oh no, his cannoli. Not literally, but like through his pants. And then he got weirded out. Mm. <laughs> he didn't stay long after that because he figured he was trying to do a little cannoli rubbing out in the sauna. But it got better. I went to the shower to wash off. And about five minutes in, <laughs> keep in mind, all the shower stalls have doors, but there's no locks, so you can't lock yourself in there. I guess it's gym liability. Anyway, the weirdo guy I mentioned earlier opened the door and stared at my cannoli. And I was oh. shocked. In my mind, I was like, what the fuck? And then he closed it real fast and he left. Does anything like this happen to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the best confession ever. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, hey, look, if this thing with the girls doesn't work out at the gym, he's got a backup plan. He's got, yeah, this guy's ready to rock and roll. Hey, hey, and the guy can spot him. They, they could have so much in common. That could be his best mate. <laughs> he could be a good mechanic if you get free repairs on the car while you're getting your shinoli rubbed. <laughs> he's probably a car mechanic. Who does it? Who loves it like a good oil change and a free lube? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that story, man. I mean, to me, <laughs> I, you know, I, to me, if I was in a, in the gym shower stall, Jimmy, I, I know said, you've been I, in a sauna with a guy before. Come on, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you got a couple of snowball related stories. I've been something. I've been in a sauna with several men, but I, let's, <laughs> oh, yeah. let's, let's, yeah. let's back carry up on. a little bit. So carry on, yeah, let me carry on. So you know, if I was in the gym and I was this this man, this rude man was staring me down and staring at my <laughs> chazole and making me very uncomfortable <laughs> and i would move to various areas of the gym how's he, you know, how's he being to... rude he, he finds you attractive that should be a compliment admiring, it's not yeah. being rude he's admiring well, i i would say you know, i guess you could look at it that way but why me, you gotta look I, at the I, negative side why are you looking at this negatively well, I'm looking at it through my eyes. Let's, let's, so let yeah, me, let very me, let me negative. Rephrase that. Yeah, you have to be like the, you're meant to be the one with the Lord here, thinking positive yeah. and bringing joy. And you well, just... let, let, let's say you know, let's say it, it, I, I was not comfortable with it. Okay, most maybe most people are. I don't know. I wouldn't be comfortable with it. A guy standing at my shuts all in the gym. <laughs> he right. opens the door and your stall and your stall and just looks you at. Know, it. First of all, I don't even know what he was wearing for the guy to even stare at his shuts all. What was he wearing? He was white taking spandex? a shower nude. He's taking a shower nude, Jimmy. No, but you this, said earlier he was in the he was in the gym. And the guy was in the sauna. The he was in the sauna first. He couldn't <laughs> tell. He he wasn't wearing his glasses in either case, but he was pretty sure the guy was looking at him in the sauna. Yeah. And then later, that same guy opened his shower door. Oh, I yeah. got you. I got you. I thought it was in the gym. Okay, okay. You're really twisting these stories today, Jimmy. Look, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So I mean, the guy staring at my shang in the sh in the steam. Yes, room. yes. Uh, maybe he liked the way. Maybe he liked yeah. the way you're washing it. <laughs> yeah, I you know I I, I do that. So, you know, you know, you're washing very motion. vigorously. You're washing it vigorously. Yeah, I like maybe the I downward do. motion you had there. Yeah, he, he did Getting that it very all up, Really soaking it up. <laughs> he, 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 he did that very. Uh, it's a one you know, way. You gotta eat it. Down, release, down. <laughs> yes, yes. I, that, when you did that motion, Lee, you actually reminded me of the rushy trombone back in the day. But anyway, <laughs> make a long story short. Uh, I, would, trombone? I heard of a rusty trombone. What a about rusty, the Maracas? I said a, a rusty the trombone. That's oh, I thought you said Russian. Jimmy. I'm like, what's a Russian trombone? That's probably the same thing as a rusty trombone. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like sitting between your mates, sitting between your mates going snow skiing. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> I mean, do you, Tyler, you know what the what the uh, rusty trombone is? Yeah, you've explained it on a past show. Oh, I did. Okay. So anyway, let, so the guy's <laughs> staring at. I'm in the steam room, and the guy's standing at my shuzzle. Yes. So I don't know how he's doing that, unless this just young man is. Well, he doesn't know. The, he can't really see because he hasn't yeah, got his glasses. He does not steam. have his glasses. Oh, so how did he know he was even doing this then? This person. Well, he's just assuming. He's just not so sure. Assuming. That, that's what he needs you for. So you for. tell me this guy sitting in the steam room, no glasses, he can't see, he's blind as a bat, but he knows the guy staring at his shots all. Well, for, for him for him to think I, I, the guy's staring for him to think the guy's staring at him, he's staring at that guy. So that other guy could be thinking that's what why I is think. this guy staring oh, at he me? tipped the guy off. I'm gonna take it a step farther. I think the gentleman came over and started to like, you know, his mm -hmm. legs slowly. Oh, we're gonna fill in the blanks. You know, and, yes. and, and rub his thighs. He, un, he, un, he undid his towel and, and laid and the and towel open. And right, you know, he's, 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 he's trying to be, 
try to be as sexual as possible. Yeah. Rub it he was watching the sweat <laughs> run down his chest, yeah. watching the sweat run down his chest and then stomach. He ran his hands long. inside the guy's thigh and he grabbed exactly. the chazole and he started mm-hmm. to, you know. That's what I and, pictured. Uh, and, and then it ended up in the shower. And he, he's yeah. not telling the whole story. Had to go clean it up. He's and he said, there. what are you doing? I but can't how would he know? How, how would he know what shower stall is, you know, unless he told him, I'm going to be in shower stall number four. Out of all those shower stalls, <laughs> how did he know it was right. him? Yeah, exactly. Because if, if if the guy left the sauna and jumped into the shower, the yeah, guy was probably four. still. I'm going sauna. in shower number four. I'll go turn it <laughs> exactly. You exactly. just come yeah. in. After he was getting stroked a little bit. He he told me he leaned over and he said, "Listen, I'll be in the shower store before," <laughs> and he left. Uh-huh. He didn't want to exactly. be, you know, like you know, under mm-hmm. the cue with it because there was other people around, and that's yeah. what happened. I don't mm-hmm. think the guy opened up the shower. And then they went in the shower together. together. I think they he opened it, up the shower door and went in there. Back. They washed each exactly. other's back. They put their exactly. shawls together and washed them together. Absolutely, yes, yes. They, one the of guy, them had four skin, the, the other one didn't, so they did that. They did that docking where he docked him. He like <laughs> poured his foreskin over the other guy's head and they docked like the space station. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> NASA, NASA, I'm coming in. Coming in for docking. <laughs> oh, and his head shit. just disappeared into the docking oh, station. No, 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 no. <laughs> And while it was docked, they just moved back and forth until they exploded on release and they decompressed. Uh, and he pulled out of the air, Doc. Yeah. Oh my God. And stuck it everywhere. <laughs> Where Tyler, explosion. Tyler, Tyler left? <laughs> no, I'm here, unfortunately. Oh, okay. He's here. He's here. <laughs> just had nothing to contribute to that. You guys were you were going to place and what else could I say? <laughs> oh, it got it got better, but I, I couldn't stop laughing. You know, I, I, I imagine that the guy turned around all soapied up and he was leaning on the tile wall. And it was it's just amazing. It's, a, it, it's amazing yeah. the, the divine power you guys have. The, the amount of oh, blanks yeah. you can fill in because oh, yeah. you know, this guy said he just the guy just left, but no, no he oh, just oh, all. Shit. Hey, Jimmy and I know better. Don't try to pull oh, the no, right. Come on, we, open your you have to come forget. on. Jimmy, Jimmy and I know better. We, we can you see know. what happens. Come on. We can see between the lines, Tyler. Exactly. We gotta read we, we between see. the lines. We can see. Come on. He's the, the guy yeah. was touching the top of the story. He didn't want to go deep in like like uh, like uh, yeah. he just explained. Come on. Yeah. So basically, he didn't. And since to, that uh, day, they've been best friends. They train together now, and they yeah. know. That's right. So he just needs to right. keep his glasses off. Just go for whoever is coming at him at the gym. Absolutely. He's making eyes with him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's 2024. Just go with it. Come on. That's it, man. Keep yeah, the glasses you know, off. Go, you know, go. The, just the world go. Is fluid. A, fluid. The world be is fluid. Be, be water, as Bruce Lee would say. Be water. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, Ark's muscle has come full swing in 2024. Look at it. Listen <laughs> to us. It's amazing. Hey, yeah, to have a show you. like we this. Judge. We, <laughs> judge. we just we listen. Judge. Be fluid. Be water. Love all. Listen, you know this is the new times because for Dave to have a show like this on his on his site, he, Dave is expanding his horizons also. <laughs> We're doing the Lord's so. work. And the Believe thing is, me. Dave Dave shows get demonetized. This one doesn't. So what's that tell you? you the, the, exactly. Lord, well, the Lord works well, in mysterious ways. <laughs> And Dave, and Dave loves he, 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 and Dave anymore. loves watching. He loves watching this show. Dave, he's home. Oh. He watches it. So <laughs> there you go. Exactly. There you have it. I All right. It. Well, so we have a couple Oh, more to drink that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna condense this one a little bit. It's a little okay. lengthy, the but one is- basically. This this guy was in a relationship. He's a big fan of the show. Let him begin. Of course. Of course. Oh, he's 20 years old. He's a young buck. Oh, 20. But he was with his ex for like six years or something like oh, that. Oh, since he was 14. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, a high how old was she? Was she the same age? Now. Was she older or the same age? Or? Uh, let's see. 20 years, met my ex-girlfriend six years ago. Best boyfriend I could be to her. She treated me horribly. She would lash what? out at me over any little thing. Oh. She would ignore me for days at a time. She's probably old at Physical it. affection. That's terrible. Oh. Right, How's it going with him? Why, why would his mother treat him like that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm reading between the lines already. Don't you worry. God damn. After three All years, right, I got the fishes coming, coming in, Lee. Don't worry. Go ahead. Yeah. The mother. I started talking to another very attractive girl. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. But okay. ended up dropping her to get back with this girl that was terrible. Uh, so he's, that? he's been abused by the mother, gone to the sister, now he's gone back to mom. <laughs> he thought, why not give mom another chance? Things okay. were great for the first year, but slowly, blah, 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 blah. It's classic first first relationship shit here. Okay. She would bash me for wanting to try smoking weed bash or in shrooms. Oh. That was definitely mother. Definitely mother. A it sounds upset. like mom. I wasn't doing great mentally. I hadn't been able to find a job for months. I felt like a bum. I felt like no matter how hard I was trying. You're 20 years old. Calm down. Things mm. weren't getting better instead of blah, blah. I stopped caring for our relationship within a few months because she cussed me out and started pushing me really hard. All because she fell asleep during a movie and I turned oh my him God, off. He's a little frail one, this one, isn't he? Little frail. <laughs> he's young. Honestly, I just no, couldn't she pushed me. Anymore. She pushed me. Oh my God, she pushed me. She pushed me really hard all because she fell asleep during a movie and I turned it off. Yeah. I mean, would, you like some in, would you like some insight into this confession, Rachel? Yeah. Okay. The guy's 20 years old. He was in a relationship for six years. She was abusing him, pushing him around, very mean to him. She le So he left her, went to another girl, and then went back. I'm, I'm suggesting it's his mother and sister, but he doesn't want to tell us that. But now he, he got pushed around really hard because she fell asleep during the movie. Okay, and that's where we left off. During the same time, I started reconnecting with the girl from middle school. Oh, man, he's going real far back to middle school. Yeah. We have great chemistry, and she heard me out every single time. She never judged me, and she gave me unbiased advice. Really understood my situation. So basically, he cheated on his girlfriend with her, is what he's going to get to. He, for about a month, he was sleeping with her before he caught it off with his bitch. Well, he sounds like a soy boy. So he's wondering if that's wrong, because he's really happy with the new girl. Things are going great now, blah, blah, blah. Super supportive. Thanks for hearing him out. He shall carry the weight of his <laughs> sins. What do you think? What do you think, Rachel? Well, at first I felt sad for him because nobody should be in an abusive relationship. But then he's saying that he's cheating and he went back to the abuser. So he's a bit of a fucktard. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel said you're a fucktard. That's it. That's the verdict. Rachel said. But just, you know, if he's said, a Rachel. girl and he's yeah. cheated and whatever, just fucking move on, scrap the rest, for go real. with the girl, go with God. Well, <laughs> go with God. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. That was Anytime. great insight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I'm still calling. I'm still. I'm. I'm like Jimmy here. I'm seeing the mother and the sister as these other two, and then <laughs> he's going back to middle school to his cousin, and now we got oh, some better cousin. cousin. Where's this guy from? Uh, Southern Nebraska. Appalachian. Or or, 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 we didn't get. We didn't get any geographical information. I think he's from the Appalachians. I, I have to be honest with you. Uh, I, I, I was just slightly, you know, I'm, you know, I'm slightly confused with the story. Yeah, no. um, Listen, I, in his defense, I'll say one thing. When I was twenty, was I he, was, he was with three women. Is that what, you, is that what the story was about? No, yeah. it was with, it was like one like bad ex that he couldn't get away from, and then he's now he's with a new girl. But he like there was a little in between time in between. Oh, all. But wasn't there I'll another girl that. before the new girl who had the bad one? Then he met another one. But then he went back to the ex, and then he went back to the middle school girl. Yeah, right. I, I thought, yeah, I thought there was it was the, the long-term girlfriend, and then there was a yeah. quick fling, but then he's like, no, I'm going to go back to her. And I'm now going back to my cousin Gertrude, because cousin Gertrude's better than my sister and mother. I'll, the only sister thing sister, is, sister I, Penelope was very mean to him, so when Mother Sue was the abusive one. I got the names and everything, don't you worry? Yeah, you can feel it. All, all I'll say in his defense, it, when I was 20 years old, I was a little bitch when it came to girlfriend in relationships and stuff. You know, God, it's hard to believe. Could you believe it? <laughs> could you imagine? No. You little so, scared boy, you. Don't touch me then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can empathize with him a little bit. Like, what you've done? You've made me hard. Oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> I, have a, I have a confession. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm thinking. Let's just. I, I just want to touch on that kid there. He's 20 years old. Who gives a fuck? Mm. Do what you got to do, man. You're too young. Yeah. You, you, you're you're overthinking shit. You're 20 years old, man. Yeah, but he's you know? been with the abusive mother since he was 14. 
<laughs> well, that's a different story. If you're in an abusive situation, whether it's your mom, your sister, or your whatever your relationship is, you shouldn't be abused. Like like Rachel said, just run for the hills, man. Run for the hills. Some like the abuse. Though. Some people like the abuse. Some yeah, some people do. Are yeah, you eating little crackers? They call that code. They're like they're like shortbreads with sugar on them. Oh, it looks so nice. They're called nice, but N I C E. Nice. They're nice. They're nice. They're nice. Nice. Mm. If I, if I could just jizz on and eat it, it'd be nice. Oh my god, God, perfect tie-in. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. As you were. Yeah. So <laughs> play the music. I have a, I, I have a confession. Okay. Tyler, music. Thank you. So, <laughs> I have to, you know, I, I did after hours with Dave for uh, uh, Tuesday. And he, he, you know, he's live, of course. And I jumped on the show when I was, you know, ragging on Dave and John about George, you know? Yep. Oh! What happened? What happened? Oh, we lost it for a second. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. We hear you. Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Father. Father Bull. Is that you, Nixon, on the phone to Apollo Nixon? 11? Is that you, Nixon? We hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Apollo 11. We have you landed. We can hear you. Oh, we can hear no. you. Oh, God. It's really falling apart. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, I man. just got a phone call. Fucked up. All right, Hold on a second. I'm going to have to go in and out again. Come on. <laughs> nice. That was a quick draw. Oh, man. Jimmy. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll play the, our beautiful new waiting music. Isn't that nice? Oh, hello, The Exorcist. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Welcome to the show today. We're just sorry for the technical difficulties. Please just sit back and listen to this music as Jimmy reconnects with the Lord and the people and all the loved ones around him. Just take a moment to reflect on your life and what you've done and some of your losers, what you fucking haven't done. Just look back and think to yourself, what a loser I am just sitting here. I've accomplished nothing throughout my whole life. Why do I go on? <laughs> Why do I carry on with my life? Should I just end it now, or should I maybe listen to this show? Can you hear us, Jimmy? Or yes, perhaps I should I submit my stories and sins to Ark's Muscle Confession? Okay, I was right. I wrote the note here, but then you disappeared. I wrote, "We." <laughs> oh, I was, I, was, I was almost like Nixon talking no, to I, 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 Eleven. A, a phone call came in. It just whacked me all out. Anyway, all right, uh, well, you're back. So, uh, you know, I, we're up, I was to, on... up to George. You up, got up to the George part. Yeah, so you know, I, I defended George naturally because you know we yes. love George. He's, he's one of us, and you know, I didn't like what they were saying about him, and George was very upset. Anyway, make a long story short, as we're elaborating on that story, uh, it was live, so you get the you know the the, the comments, you know, mm -hmm. come up, you know, and this one guy said on the comments, you know, something about my belly, you know, what? and uh, what what. And yeah, like what? my belly, my belly's getting big or whatever he said. And, you know, the guy doesn't realize that I have very huge abdominal muscles, you know. So I, yeah. wanted, to, I wanted to tell that guy, kiss my effing ass. Okay. That was one <laughs> guy. Okay. And then another guy said, shake your tits, Jimmy. You know, he wanted me to. What? What? He wanted me to like, I don't know. He wanted me to like go back and forth and <laughs> jiggle my my breast, you know, so I'm thinking, that, I'm, 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 I'm thinking that maybe, you know, I'm thinking that maybe he's gay and he doesn't know it. And, uh, it, my breast turned him on and me shaking. Them, well, there are beautiful you know, breasts. They are. And, you know, maybe me shaking, shaking my breast, he would get excited and get an erection and well, he could satisfy himself. As your manager, Jimmy, you're not doing that for free, mate. We gotta get I'm money. getting a little I, excited. I, 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 I can't do it for free, you know, so I just Do you want only you know. yeah. And then, and then somebody mentioned something about the, my black shirts that I wear all the time. And I, no. I want to I wanna touch on the black. Uh, they were really spandex. coming down on Jimmy that day, weren't they? Jimmy yeah, they, 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 they were. Yeah, I was reading some of the comments and I was getting, uh, I was getting hit up. So anyway, uh, <coughs> normally, I don't, I, normally I don't give a shit what people say. But 
you know, if you're not going to say, you know, if you're, if you're not going to yeah. say something nice, don't say anything. Give me his feelings, people. Give me his feelings. I have feelings. So what do you got to, what do you got to, you know, uh, you know, be back there with your little. And, and you know you what? Know, As the old saying you know, goes, you, know. you shouldn't say anything unless you walk a mile in someone's shoes. Because that way, yeah, you yeah. feel a mile away. You can say whatever the fuck you want and you'll have their shoes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the thing is, yeah. you know, uh, I'm going to just elaborate on my black T-shirts because I do okay. wear them every day. Let's go through these items one at a time. The black yes. T-shirts. <laughs> the, the black T-shirts. So, go through these items. You know, I, I go to uh, uh, Costco's and I buy these. They're called Cool 32, whatever. That's the name of the T-shirts. Ooh, I like the and name. Then, cool 32. Yeah, 32. Cool, yeah, Cool 32. So, anyway. Cool 32. I, cool 32. Cool 32. Cool 32. And cool. I like them. <laughs> I wear, I have like probably a dozen of them in my drawer because I tell you the truth, when I get up in the morning. Yeah, you just you know, grab no, a shirt. I, you don't I, want to sit there yeah. going, do I want to wear red, blue? No, just I just want to grab a Crew 32. Yeah. You there? Yeah. yeah. Crew 32. So, so anyway, yeah, like, like Lee said, I mean, I bought all these spandex, you know, mm -hmm. shirts because first of all, I, I like to try to stay in shape and the shirts you know, force me to stay in shape because if I do start to get a little belly, I've been doing a lot of uh, crunches lately with the rope oh, yeah. with, in 80 pounds or so. And my abdominals have been growing. Right. So I got to stop that a little bit. But <clears throat> as far as the shirts, like Lee said, I don't get up in the morning. Now I do have button down shirts mm -hmm. that I wear on a, on a, yeah, on but a, you on go on there, drive night. a truck. You want to be comfortable in the truck and that. Yeah. And it'd be like just in the neighborhood or going to the gym yeah. or going to the local burger shop. I don't give a shit. I wear my, I put the black shirt on and I go. Hey, I've I seen I'm Jimmy like, FaceTime yeah. when he's out at sushi and that, and he's all done up. He's got the little caps on hats on, got button down shirts. the leather Ooh, jackets. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I, when I go yeah. out of Saturday night, I wear my yeah. button down shirts, whether it be a white one or a blue one. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, but you know, during the week I wear my spandex shirts. That's where it comes in because I don't want to get up in the morning and open up my closet. Like Lee said, and I say, hmm, what am I going to wear today? The red one, or the yellow mm. one, or the blue, or the orange. <laughs> you know, I, I don't mm. do that shit, man. I open my drawer, I pull out a fresh black spandex yep. shirt, throw it on, throw a hoodie over that, and I'm out the door. That's what I yeah. do. So I, I don't want to be worried about what I'm going to be wearing and all that. Same thing with the jeans. I wear the, I wear the jeans too. So it's that's that's my <coughs> outfit, you know, and, and, my, yes. and my North Carolina yes. logger boots. So and they're coming down yourself. on your belly and yeah. boobies in the shirt. Yes. Yes, they were, and it was. They're objectifying. Yeah, like yeah, or like to see their photo. Yeah, did they put up their picture? I bet they. No, did. they didn't. They didn't yeah. even use their real name. It was no, like, it's uh, their even worse. Wardrobe choices. Even these, worse. These bogus names, you know. I hate them. Yeah. I'm James Pelletier, you know. Alias, I should be, uh, you know. I reckon Iron the Bull, internet, you know. the internet, when it comes to YouTube or anyone commenting on Instagram and that. There should be something where you need to show photo ID so they can confirm it's really you, like some sites do. <laughs> right. And we should it should be your real name and your real photo if address. you're gonna talk shit. Physical address. Yeah. Yeah, this yep. way there's so no you can get the knock on the door. No, no, no. <laughs> this way there's no uh, perversion or stalking. You know, you see who the person is. If you're gonna go on Instagram on that social media, you should be able to be, you know, like Lee said, you know, you see you know who you are, your name. These guys are hide behind, you know, uh, you the know, cannonball, board. you know, cannonball yeah. five. Tell me about my cannonball you know, five. That yeah, asshole. Yeah, cannonball. Yeah, okay, cannonball five. You know, what are you like a little dweeb mm -hmm. home in the dark <laughs> or your little or your little <laughs> keyboard? Oh, oh Jimmy, you got a little belly. Mm -hmm. Oh, shake your tits, Jimmy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy didn't even leave his room in the last twenty years. Okay, but he wants to treat. You know, he wants to talk about my shirt and my belly and my belly. You know what I mean? No. But anyway. Get I just had to get that off my chest because it's right. bothering me. Yeah. And That's I don't, fair. you know, I normally, I know people say a lot of shitty things on there because they can. And uh, normally I don't pay attention. That's why I never read really the comments because I don't want to, you know, for every 10, 20 nice comments, there's one or two, you know, shitty ones. And the shitty ones seem to stick with it, don't they, for some reason? Yeah, they do. I don't know why. It's like that thing I posted me. the other day about Einstein where he said that, he was doing the class in front of the class and he said he did nine times one, which was nine, nine times two, which is 18. And when he got up to nine times 10, he put 91 and the crowd started laughing and that. And he said, isn't that funny? He goes, the nine <coughs> times before this, I got it right. You didn't congratulate me or say anything. The one time I got it wrong, you all laughed and pointed out my mistakes and that. So right, it's like right. saying how you can do so many things right. The one time you make a mistake, people point it out and ridicule you for it. But you could have done a hundred good things yeah. before then. 
well, it's that's like, like that's like the old story. Like you get this famous bridge builder, and mm-hmm. he builds, and he designs and all these beautiful bridges, and he's got bridges all over the city, and then he gets caught sucking on a chazol. Now all he's yeah. remembered is for you know that act. Oh, got all chazol. the bridges. You know, now all he did was, you know, suck on the Chazol, Chazol and everybody song. forgot about the bridges. You know what I mean? Oh, you, get a lot, you get a musician that was in a group called Wham, and then he went on to be George Michael and became famous, had lots of hit songs, <laughs> and he becomes known Wham? for masturbating in a public bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the bottom line is we're all sinners. We all have hang-ups. We all have issues, okay? So nobody's hmm. perfect. So before hmm. you open your freaking mouth, okay? <laughs> You should think about the shit you do behind closed doors. Mm. Oh you know, yeah, and how oh, you man. look. At least you know, Jimmy, you know, stand in Jimmy front of the freaking mirror. We talk about what we do. We talk That's about. That's right. What Jimmy, That's right. Yeah, he's an right. Lee yeah, and I talk about the shit. You know. and, and and you know what? And 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 Lee and myself and even Tyler, we've done a lot of stuff in our career. You know, we've been all around. We did a lot of shit, but we talk about. Oh man, fools. what haven't I done? You know, yeah. we, we talk about our faults. We, we put them on the line. We, we we talk about our faults. You know what I mean? We're not like some of these other people think they're perfect and then they want to do a little little, little keyboard thing in the back. Well, I, I, gave, I gave some yeah. advice on training the other day and some of the comments were, who would take advice of anyone that has a tattoo on their face? And then people are like, that's Lee oh, Priest, really isn't it? That? <laughs> yeah, uh, someone's, uh, like, someone's, like, someone's like, so you wouldn't take boxing tips off Mike Tyson? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. get him. Exactly. It's a good, that's a good yeah. counter. Isn't Mike Tyson going to be fighting that guy soon? Or, or, yeah, that know? Jake Paul. Is it Jake <clears throat> yeah. Paul or his brother? One of them, yeah. But someone Jake said Paul. it's going to be an exhibition, but I just read that um, they're going to the Boxing Commission to make it a proper fight so they don't really? have certain, certain rules. Because I think in the beginning they were like, there was no hitting here or he couldn't it's do this. Like it's like when he fought that <laughs> Roy Jones Jr. You could tell Tyson was holding back with the body shots and shit. So I hope they really let Tyson lay into him. Oh, Jesus. Look at Jimmy the lightning striker over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, just, so just experimenting for when we really condemn someone to the pits of hell. So that's that's my little uh, uh, piece on my confession. Yeah, there, the, it's like the like the talking, old saying, you, yeah. you know, don't, if you're living people in glass houses, shouldn't throw stones. Or like Jimmy said, yeah, you haven't got anything nice to say because, like, I see comments on some stuff, or I see people post stuff, and I think how fucking dumb. But you know what? I don't comment. I just scroll past. You don't need right. to comment and give your opinion right. on every topic out there, you idiots. You can. There is right. a thing where you just okay, that's stupid. Scroll on by. Don't don't comment. Very just easy. Scroll. It takes more. Because like I said, they would they wouldn't say it yeah. in person. If you're not going to say it in person to someone's face, don't write it down. Exactly. I agree with you. Hundred percent. You don't like it. You know, don't uh, don't say anything. I mean, what's or the, don't even follow. Don't don't. How many people that write shit all the time? Oh, this show again, or this, and always oh, talking shit again. What well, if you don't like me? I'm like, hey, mate, you follow me. I don't follow you. So who's the bigger idiot here? You're following someone you dislike, taking time out of your day to watch me and then comment on me. I said, you're the one with the problem, not me. Exactly, 100%. I don't know why people do that. I mean, like, I, I don't ever, I do like you, Lee. If I see something stupid <laughs> or retarded, yeah. I, don't, I don't write a comment. I just go, oh, my no. God, you know, and I go, bloop, I know. Bloop, bloop, you know. <laughs> That's what I do, man. I don't want to spend energy writing something yeah. negative towards somebody. I mean, it's it's a yeah. waste of time. And then and you just go you back and forth. With, then you go back and forth with them, and it's like it gets nowhere. It's like why bother just being? Oh uh, yeah, I don't. You know, I mean, what does it make the person? So obviously, the person that's making the negative comment has, uh, uh, you know, uh, confidence issues. Uh, issue. yeah. Right, exactly. You yeah. know, he's sure. he has a, a low self esteem about himself. Mm. He's lacking something. You know, uh, in, in his life, you know, so uh, and, and why too? Let's is, just say, you know, Jimmy, just, just say, Jimmy was feeling a bit off and he ate a bit of food and his belly was a bit bloated. And Jimmy knows that his and Jimmy knows that his belly feels a bit bloated. It's like, why well, you got to pick out someone's floor and make them feel bad about it when they probably already know themselves that they have this problem? But does that make you feel better picking out, like, oh, look at that guy, he's the cripple, he's walking fucking fighting on his leg? Yeah, that's because he's crippled. I don't care, I'm gonna make fun of him. It's like, what? Well, you know, yeah. pointing at someone's flaws and using that to make fun of them. It's like, you know, they probably and, already and, know that. And, and, I, and I did come home that day and go on the show. I had two hot dogs and a Pepsi before I went on the show. <laughs> the Pepsi, yeah. Pepsi, I wasn't, Pepsi I was, gas I, always bloats my stomach. If I, have, <laughs> if I have carbonated drinks, my stomach goes for it. I did have two hot dogs and a Pepsi. <laughs> 
And that so, wasn't yeah, Pepsi was Max. That was, the full, that was the full sugar Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. I did have two hot dogs and a Pepsi. That's so Listen, I have, to, I, have to, I have to confess, you know, my, being that I'm, I'm hyperglycemia and I have, you know, I mm-hmm. get that issue with, the, you know, I have to eat. You know, so sometimes I have to eat whatever's at hand. If I if I'm having like if I don't go uh, without eating for uh, you mm-hmm. know, four or five hours, and all of a sudden I'm in my house and I'm having a, a I start getting my attack. Uh, you know, yeah. I have to I have to grab cookies, Kit Kat, whatever's oh, available, yeah. and I gotta just start shutting it down here. You know, so I'm not worried about my stomach at that moment. I'm worried about my eyesight and my mm. hands shaking and the no, you sweats and all that. You thing. don't you know, have to worry about it, Jimmy. There seems like there's people to worry about it for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, so. Anyway, listen, you know, and you know, also too, you know, I'm not making excuses, but you know, I am 64 going on 65, you know, so I'd I like to see the retard, yeah. you know, <laughs> the guy who made that comment. They won't even see, make it. You, they won't even make it to that age. That's what I'm saying. You know what? Give me a call when you're 65. Let me see what you look like. You know, I'm mm. still fairly in shape. I mean, I've been ever since that guy made that comment, I've been training my stomach like crazy in the gym. <laughs> it really bothered me. And I know I had, I had a little bloating going on that day. So and now I'm mm. concentrating. Today I was in the gym. I, I, I probably did about maybe a good half hour, 40 minutes on stomach alone. Different, you know, the ropes. Then I had the, the machine mm. that you pushed. You know, it has yeah. the cushions yeah. in. You, push, you, push, yeah. you know, I, I was doing that. I was doing leg lifts, you know. And my stomach does look, feels a lot better. But I'm going to continue that. But, like we said, the guy making these shitty comments is, is terrible. I don't know why, you know. I never do that to people, man. If someone looks yeah. uh, messed up or screwed up or at least said the guy's crippled, I'm not going to make fun of the guy. You, you don't, you don't you know, know what they say. You don't know what's going on in someone's life. Someone could have been in shape and yeah. maybe they've lost somebody close to them and they've just been yeah. feeling bad the last few weeks. They haven't been eating properly. They haven't been going to the gym. They've let themselves go a bit. And they're already yeah. feeling down. They don't need you to come along and fucking push them down even further. Listen, you know, I was in shape, really good shape my entire life since I'm 14 mm-hmm. till I was pretty much 55. And then when my mother passed away at 55 years old, she didn't see my 55th birthday. But, you know, then I went into a depression myself and I wasn't really training. I didn't I wasn't working. I, you know, I, I lost my shit when my mom died, you know, for quite a few years. And, uh, you know, I'm actually trying to still recover from that, you know, from that whole thing, because it really it crushed me. You know, mm-hmm. so I am getting back in shape. I'm enjoying the gym. I go there with all the aches and pains and the Advils. I, 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 mm-hmm. I train through it, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to continue to train. That's and, like uh, I said, you don't, know, you don't know someone's circumstances to why they're in the situation they're in or why they might look the way of they course. look. They could, have, they could have other health issues going on or anything, so. Absolutely, hundred percent. You don't, you don't know. I mean, I don't walk around with a with a with a little board saying, you know, live with a list of shit that's going on in my <laughs> life. You know, so yeah. So I just wanted to touch on that. I thought that was rude and uh, uncalled for, and uh, really bothered me, man. It really bothered. Me. But I tell you, in a way, it helped me because the negative comment got me in the gym, and I'm just training like I'm training like like crazy okay. again. So. Thank now you. next I week, Jimmy. It. Now next week, Jimmy's gonna have a fucking hernia in the abs, and be like, who oh, 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 blame this bastard? <laughs> I already have one. Are you kidding me? I gotta be careful. I got, I got one of those. I got a bad back. I got herniated neck. I got arthritis. I got, I got, I got shit going on, man. And Jimmy's like, you I'll know. fucking show you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, when I when I go to the VA, you know, and I I had my uh, spine uh, MRI and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. So I go to the doctor. It was a young Russian guy in the in the VA, uh, and uh, I, I sit down with him, and I'm like, uh, "So, doc, how does he's looking at my pictures?" I go, "How do I look, doc? What's going on?" He goes, "Well, he goes, you know, you, you typically got a typical uh, spine of a, a man who worked very hard his whole entire life, <laughs> and now age is kicking in." I said, "Yeah." I said, uh, "Am I going to be a cripple?" He goes, "No, you're not going to be a cripple." I said, "Do I need surgery?" He goes, "No." He goes, oh, yeah, "I'm not going to give you any surgery." He goes, "You'll be, you'll be fine. You just got to deal with the pain." I said, "Thank you." And I walked out of there. <laughs> oh, I said, "Do I got at least another 20 years?" He goes, "Yeah." So that's all I need, man. I don't give a shit what I'm about. That's funny you say he's a Russian doctor. I just got asked. I just got asked to go to Russia for a seminar. Oh, nice. Hmm. That's interesting. When if I go to Russia, will people hate me? I can't believe you're going to Russia. They're fighting Ukraine. That's yeah, crazy. That's, got nothing, that's got nothing to do with it. I know. Listen, you know, you got to understand something. It ain't the Russian people. It's the government. No, but that's why I hated when um yeah. when this war started that there was like a Russian soccer team. They wouldn't play, let them play in the World Series, whatever. And it's like, why are you punishing the people? The people probably right. don't agree with the war. Most people don't. So why punish athletes and other people who are just going about their daily lives just because they're Russian. That's like ridiculous. Listen, Lee, who wants to really go to war? 
Exactly. Okay. You, it's like you, you know, really Hitler. think when Hitler was doing whatever that all the German people agreed with Hitler. No, they probably didn't. But, you know, you speak out, they would have been probably shot and killed. But it's like, it's ridiculous. It's like when the Iraq war was on and that a lot of the American people didn't agree with that. Once they found out True. it was all a lie as well of the weapons of mass destruction didn't exist. And what? Blah, it was for oil? What? And for money? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, how about even like Vietnam, Lee? Yeah. You know, that was... That was a, a screw up thing. Remember how many times yeah. did Kennedy want to pull out of that or tell him to pull out and this and that? But who was that general at the time who wouldn't admit defeat, even though they had so many people saying, listen, we can't win this war. They should have got out years ago. And they're like, no, yeah. no, we're hanging. We're staying. Yeah, we were there for like 10 years or more. Well, look, well, how was... long were they in Iraq for that for? That was before thing pulled them out, Biden pulled them out the wrong way. But yet that was like 20 years there, wasn't it? And how many... Countless people yeah. got killed. Nothing got accomplished. The place got worse. There was more, you know, Saddam was an arsehole dictator, yeah, and whatever. But yet, at least he kept control of all the other assholes. Once we got rid of him, the place just went even fucking worse. You know, back to Vietnam, I have I have friends that were Nam. So it wasn't like an actual all out war, like Russia mm. and Ukraine. Mm. You know what I mean? It was more, it was more uh, uh, like night patrols. It was spotty. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't really like a, an all-on war but you know a lot of americans lost their lives there because of, oh yeah you know the the, the type of guerrilla warfare that we you know was mm -hmm. and the was. terrain and uh, the trying to watch yeah. one documentary and some of those fucking those <laughs> vietnamese some of those fucking traps they set up for the people were fucking horrendous oh, horrible <laughs> oh. horrible i mean they used to put shit on the uh, bamboo sticks yeah. with the whole you know there was a movie called i'm going to recommend the movie to the fans so if you yep. if you uh, uh, watch that movie, it shows uh, the American soldiers, you know how what, they. What had movie to was it? You disappeared on me. I didn't hear the name of the movie. The the Tunnel Rat is called. Okay. The yeah, it was based rat. in the '60s in Vietnam, and it was it was basically guys that would go down in these holes with a flashlight and a 45, and try to you know dig out yeah. the uh, the Viet Cong that were hiding in the holes, there, and they had miles and miles of tunnels oh, yeah. around and it was a it was a crazy movie you gotta you gotta watch this movie i actually i actually got very into it you know uh is that, <clears> that, like, is that like is that like the jews tunneling under new york oh god the what <laughs> the jewish people yeah, tunneling so new york. Right. you should definitely repeat it uh <laughs> I don't know much about that, but it's, it's possible. I don't know. I, don't, I, I have to look into that, Lee. <laughs> anyway, that was that's one of my recommendations. You know, uh, the Tunnel Rat. That's a good. It's a good flick. Maybe they anyway, maybe they're digging maybe they're digging diamond mines under New York. I don't know. So anyway, we, we got off the subject. The whole thing was that it was based on you going to Russia, and we said that it's yeah. the Russian people. It's the governments, because the Russian people didn't even want to go to war themselves. A lot of them were trying to flee the country mm -hmm. <clears throat> because they didn't want to They didn't want to go to war. Who the hell wants to go to war? You know. So, I just hope uh, if, I, if, if I do go, I just hope the plane doesn't fly anywhere near Ukraine. I get shot down. Exactly. I mean, you know, name like anybody who... Some of those cookies, Lee. Yeah, it's making me hungry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so Normally anyway, dip him, you know, in, dip him in a cup of tea. You dip him in a cup of tea or coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah co coffee. Tea. I, I think coffee would work, yeah, for me. As long as it's So yeah, I mean, tea. Lee, I, I I think that's great. When do you schedule to, is it in, in Estonia? They or? just said, how much did I want? I just gave them a price. Okay. And I said, airfare accommodation. Food. They got back and goes, yes, that's doable. I'm like, fuck, they replied too quick. I should have bumped the price up. Because sometimes when they ask me a price, I'm like, <laughs> I'm old now. Maybe I shouldn't go too high. I should just go middle of the road. And when they go, yes, that quick, I'm like, fuck, I should have went a couple of thousand. Longer. Never underestimate yourself, Lee. Listen, uh, you know, we're both getting older, but we had valuable. very colorful careers. I mean, I was a strength dude. I had a different type of career. You were like probably the best bodybuilder you know, in the world, you know, so, you know, you, you, you still are who you are, you know, even though we're getting older now and, you know, the body changes, no, nobody can get away from that. So, but you still are who you are. So you can never this, underestimate this, um, yourself. This you website, there's a website called Anabolics and it's spelt with a C, Anabolic. And they sent me this t-shirt. Look, Titan Killer. Oh, nice. <gasps> See, he's got Titan Killer. I like it. Not giant killer. I, rem I, rem killer. I remember that that uh, that photo. That was a David Paul picture. Yeah, David Paul. I like David. But Paul. the thing with these is, though, this is see people. Oh, that's a beautiful show. I said, yeah, but I can never wear cool. this because for some reason, 
if I wear a shirt, I love how it says Titan Killer and it's like anime style stuff, but it's like, I feel like I'm being a cocky asshole wearing a t-shirt with my own picture on it. So I can't wear <laughs> it. It's like, hey, look at me. Well, who, look, I'm on who's, who, I can't see who the fella is next to you in that picture. No, that's just like characters made up to no one. Oh, okay. It's like all that's just you on the, That's just you on the t-shirt. Yeah, me in the middle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that photo. I mean, listen, man, you know. You, it sounds like I would wear it. You know, you've done a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it still makes me seem like I'm egotistical wearing a shirt. But then again, the way I look down, the way I look now, people probably wouldn't recognize me on the shirt. Well, listen, you know, you, you had a career. We, we had careers, whatever. So now we're older. We still have all the knowledge. We still have. We're still who we are. All right. Yeah, I mean, no, with there's big nobody. Bellies and big bellies and yeah, whatever, man. Listen, <laughs> there's nobody on the earth that's going to continue what they're doing now to when they get older. It's not going to yeah. happen, you know. So I don't give a shit who you are. You know, you could be the the world's best bodybuilder, the world's strongest man. Eventually, as you age, <laughs> you know, shit's going to happen. The best MMA fighter, the best, mm -hmm. body, you know, whatever. You're gonna you're gonna start to age, especially Look especially anything that you, know? you especially anything where. You, uh, if you're a sports person and you use your body at some point, you just, like I said, whether you're a sprinter, runner, any type of athlete yeah, in the end, it's like, right. you know, if, if, you, if you're a chef, maybe in life, it doesn't get as bad. Oh, some chefs might get arthritis in their hands from all the other stuff. But, you know, if you're a top, of, a top athlete in strength or anything or any sport, you know, age catches up with your body can't do what you used to do in your twenties or your thirties or. Listen, I think, you know, athletes, you know, people like us that really went all out when we were younger. We, I think we burn out a little faster than the average person, right? They always mm -hmm. say that like, the brightest star burns faster, right? So, you know, and then you have your people who live shitty lives and drug and drink, and you know, they, they waste mm -hmm. away too. But, you know, as far as an athlete, you know, we turn up the heat, man. And, you know, it, it takes a toll on your body when you get older. Mm -hmm. I mean, my doctor told me himself. He said, Jimmy... You know, because he, he knows my career. And he's like, you know, look what you did to yourself all those years. He goes, you know, look, look at, you know, you got you got shit going on now. You know, your, your, your spine, your hands, your elbow, your back, you know. Hey, what, what are you going to do? You know, it's just, it's just it's part of the course, man. Nothing right. you can do about it. That's why I stay in the gym, because I think the gym keeps me the back nine. going, well, you know, keeps me alive. That's why, I said, that's why I said even just being sick this week, taking the seven days off is the longest I've had off in probably 20 years. Even when I had my neck I, operation, I mean, even my neck operation, and I got out of the hospital four days later, I went back to the gym to do calves or something. I'm like, so just doing nothing for seven days. It's like, even like I said, if I just get to the gym now, I get the blood moving, get a pump, I don't get injured, I'm happy. <laughs> but listen, I think just man, mentally, wait. you just feel better mentally going to the gym too. Listen, man, it's the, it's, it's the best thing for people in general. <laughs> You know, I, mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine not going to the gym at all. Like a lot of my But I just did man. a thing on the you radio. Know, I mean, yes, I think it was, was it two days ago? I come on the radio and they're talking about depression and all this and that. And they said, scientists and both have done studies and they found rather than taking medication, one of the best things for depression, anxiety and all this is physical exercise. I'm like, oh, no shit. Someone had to get money to do a study on this. Listen, man, every time if I feel down or whatever, and I go to the gym. I always feel fantastic when I leave the gym. Yeah. And my my mental state of mm -hmm. mind is heightened. My body feels better. It doesn't hurt as much. I mean, it, it, yeah. it, really it releases does those fun. endorphins. I, it, yeah, yeah, it does. You get a, a mental uh, uh, elevation. Mm -hmm. You know, of of uh, of a uh, good feeling. You know, I listen, mm -hmm. man. I I'm, you don't even have to train heavy. Just do a uh, you know a body part of like yeah. forty minutes. Do like a little cycle. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. You know. It just it just makes you it's it's good that it's better than doing nothing because exactly. everything starts when you get old everything starts to you know it's like a, mm -hmm. it's like a car you know you got to you got to maintain it otherwise mm -hmm. uh, as it but ages being, but doing you know, nothing too if you sit around doing nothing that's when you're going to get depressed that's when you're going to feel whatever because you've got too much time on your hands to think and if you're an idle mind if you're just sitting there you generally start thinking about, oh, back in the day, back this. And it's like you just make yourself exactly. depressed and you, you watch something on TV like, oh, I don't have that many friends anymore. So if you get out and enjoy life, even just get out in and go for a walk, like, you know, just around the town or down to the beach, getting out just keeps your mind open and you just feel so much better than just sitting there going, oh, fucking hell, I've got shit life. I'm doing nothing again, wasting away in the house. Exactly. 
But I definitely yeah. recommend some sort of exercise for people out yeah. there, uh, older people especially. You know, yeah. and even older people, people, I say, yeah, look, yeah. you don't need to join a gym. Like I said, just go out, maybe get a couple yeah. of these together, go to a nice park and walk around the park, feed the ducks, just get out. Just having that connection with other people in the open air and have a sit down yeah. and have a coffee afterwards or something and just sort of stuff that interaction you need it i think yeah yeah because then like later on when you go back home you feel much better that you went out yeah. you socialized a little bit you went for mm -hmm. a walk like you said you walk along the ocean or, or just in a park or whatever you know it's just it's just so much better for mentally to to do something physical you know yeah. that, that, that's our message you know yeah. uh, to the people oh, out there today it's beautiful that's music our, so yes get out make friends smile be happy smile and wave and have a good day now fun. back to the and, confession and, and, and you know and we're not we're not here forever so you no. gotta just enjoy life man because you know 50 60 yeah. years from now you know we're gonna be gone so why why be miserable you know enjoy yourself get out there smell the air look at the stars look at the clouds the sun now the earth the flower. you are a flower god put you on the earth for a reason yeah enjoy the earth a beautiful sunflower Yes, a rose <laughs> on the rose petal, blooming in the sun. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little flower pushing my way out of the dirt. You are, you're yeah, blossoming, Jimmy. I'm photosynthesizing in the sunlight. <laughs> you're photosynthesizing. But even on those cloudy days, just remember, even though you can't see the sun, it is still there. That's right. Just remember that. And you're magnificent. And with that little, means, look at your rose petals. Faith. Exactly. You, so, like Lee said, if it's a cloudy day and you can't see the sun, does that mean the sun don't exist? Mm -hmm. No, the sun is still there. You have to believe. Mm -hmm. So don't lose faith, people. Be yeah. strong. And if you don't, if you Be don't like strong. the view, if you don't like the view or you don't like what you see, change. Stand on a higher step because you can change the way you look at things just mm. by changing the height of where you stand. That's right. Mm. You have the power. You. Yes. Wow. You. That's right. You have the power of grace, Skull. There's always an exit. There's always an exit. Yes. I don't mean, I don't mean a rope around your neck. I mean, like, change the no. course of your life. That's you the like easy the way out. Like these that's guys the easy way about. out. you got to enjoy yeah, life. Right. Be happy. That's the, right. Put the rope around happy. your neck. Is the, that's, that's the easy happy. way out. You don't like the relationship you're in? Move on. You don't like your job? Exactly. You're not happy on your job? Move Quit. on. We'll get another yes. job. Move get on. You don't like yeah. the car you're driving? Get another car. Get another car. This is I got a I got a Pontiac vibe. It's under five thousand dollars. I'm in love. Beautiful. As long as it as long as you get you from point A to point B, can it I, doesn't matter. Can I just show you guys my beautiful Pontiac vibe? Yes. Yeah, let's see it. It's a classic. Photos. It's a classic. Oh man. It's it's a wonderful thing. That's probably how many how many miles on it now? Oh, I got her brand new with 180,000 miles. Wow. <laughs> and how, how how many on it now? You know what? On that uh, note, I'm going to go get a little, I'm gonna get a little more yeah. wine on that note. Oh, get a glass of wine. 180,000 miles. You know, as long as you get the oil change and a regular service, they go forever. Well, this this baby's got a Toyota Corolla motor. This thing uh, really is going to go forever. Toyota just do go for a long time as long as you service them and that. I'm telling you. Oh, man. Take a look at this thing. Hmm. Pontiac Five. Hey, look at that! There's nothing wrong with that. It's got a it's beautiful like a, orange coat on it still. I was gonna say, beautiful thing. Who's that it's kneeling orange. down at the front there? Yeah, this douchebag posing with it. <laughs> Who's that? There? <laughs> look at that tinted windows. Look at that. Oh man, it's got the sunroof, premium oh, sound system. Sunroof. Sunroof. I, um, I think it looked better if it had black wheels on it. But okay. I was I was thinking the same thing. I might paint these suckers black. I was gonna say, yeah, just get some of that paint and paint them black. Yeah. Ah, uh, but they're they're very nineties with the current with the current status. Nah, I don't better. Oh, you find the cheap set of black ones. <coughs> I just might. Yeah, I'm a big fan though. That I'm gonna ride that fucker until like five hundred thousand miles. Swatch. Yeah, why not? What a this was like a are we on Xanax? Like what's going on this episode? <laughs> <laughs> We're just feeling good. We're having a good time. We started off. We started off in the in the in the it no was. zone. It was dark at first, but then we, like we, we, we reeled it back from the 
bestiality that are, <laughs> that are pizza <laughs> yeah, dipping. Yeah, freaking horse stuff. No, oh, it all started with Lee shit. going to Russia. We talked about the Russian people yeah. don't necessarily like war because Lee said they might hate him over there. Now, it started with Jimmy, and then Jimmy making fun of you. Then we talked about don't make fun of people because you don't know their right. circumstances. Yeah. And, and then it started getting yeah. real because we were talking about, you know, people making shitty comments, Lee going to uh, to Russia, and that's how that all, that's how that broke. Yeah, right that there. woman that had the abortion and that six times. It was in the air. <laughs> it was in the air. <laughs> Uh, well, we've got, I think, one more confession for the evening. Okay, let's read it. Are we ready? It's, uh, Is it a good one? Is it a good one? It's a pretty good one. It's a nice little lighthearted pick-me-up. It's, it's for Jimmy. Right. It, it'll for pick me? us up, but I'll, I'll bring us down. Yeah, you could probably you could probably find a way to bring us down from it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This confession is for me? This confession is from one of your friends. Oh. He well. says, hello, fathers. This is Jimmy's friend, Tasso, oh. Tasso, Taso. Oh, ta a, a Tasso, yeah, yeah. Tasso from Chicago. You can hey, just close it. Chicago in the house. We got Tasso from Chicago. Let's see what Jimmy's friend got up to. I wonder if this involves Jimmy. I wish. <laughs> I'm the one. I'm the one. Jimmy licked off the chest. This will probably, this will probably uh, be the one. No, nah, he's a good guy. <laughs> Maybe it'll, uh -huh. it'll turn into he's that. Very, he's he's very religious. Very good guy. Very mm -hmm. very uh, patriotic. So are you. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's, maybe that's this one is pretty mild, but maybe this will open Pandora's box for his deeper Okay, confession. I'll read into it. I'll read into it. Okay, read into <laughs> it. Okay. Well, d please don't because it, it involves his adolescence. <laughs> but here we go. During summer sports camp, which is a thing, he was mm -hmm. kind of the leader of the shitheads. He was always very athletic, blah, blah, blah. He mm -hmm. had some friends there. His dad was a mm -hmm. boxer. He could, mm -hmm. he could hold his own. So the mm -hmm. hottest day of the year, it was the last day of the summer camp, and it was the award ceremony, and the mm -hmm. counselors decided to do a water gun day. Yeah. So he got a little jealous because mm -hmm. some of the other asshole kids got cooler water guns. They got Super Soaker 3000s, uh -huh. and he didn't have that. Cool. He didn't get the Hydro Blaster. Uh -huh. So guess what he did? Got the God Nose. He, he peed. He peed. Huh? You, yep, yes, yes, Father Lee. He, I knew it. I knew it already. I already, I already saw this. I already saw him and his mates skinny dipping, fondling in the water, touching each other, having urination showers. I've already done my own ahead of you. He's summer camp. One of the guys on in summer camp. So, you know, him and his mates got together and did a little bit of sucky fucking in the water. And then they decided the last day, let's just have like golden shower party. Look, I'm there. I'm there, no. I'm there with you, Tyson. Well, I, I have to. Okay. I have to admit, there's nothing wrong with a shower party. I, I've been involved in a few of those, so it's uh, mm -hmm. nothing. Wrong yeah, hold your story for a minute, Jimmy. Hold your story. Yeah, on. hold up. Let's finish <laughs> one confession and get to that one. Okay, so yes. So wait a minute. He, what is Tasso saying? He instead of Tasso he, pissed he, into he filled. He's like, I don't know how I have so much pee, but he managed to fill the whole super sucker full of urine. Jesus. And so they had their whole ceremony, and these a hole kids that had the cooler guns. We're like, oh, it's such a hot day. You know what? Before I blast you, I'm going to drink some water from the squirt gun. And the whole thing is that the guy squirted, the kid squirted his urine up into his mouth and was like, oh, it must wow. be the new plastic. This tastes funny. But drank wow. it all. And he well, said, that, that all stems me. from, you know, I, I, I've talked to uh, Tasso uh, every, you know, every few days, whatever. He sends me a video. We talk. We, you know, he's a, he's a good kid. But you I know, need it, to know that. But what I got a vision of when that kid did drink it, Tasso was aroused by that and masturbated <laughs> behind the shed at summer camp, thinking of the kid <laughs> drinking the urination. I mean, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. <laughs> Just because yeah. he's your friend, Jimmy, go with the feeling. What What are you feeling? What are go you with the feeling. I I think I don't think it's so much that. I think that maybe yeah, you know, you're being a bit easy on him because he's your mate. Come on, <laughs> go with God. Go with God. Go with the feeling. <laughs> if this yeah, was anybody I, else, I, Jimmy, you'd be right <laughs> with me. Come on. <laughs> don't leave yeah. me hanging out of you, brother. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am being uh, easy on because he is he is a mate. So yeah, uh, thank you, know, you I, that, yeah. But you know there is a different there is another side of the coin to this because all right, you're saying that he got turned on to the guy squirting uh, his urine. In his, uh, <laughs> that's what he's saying. That's what he's I mean, saying. Believe it or not, yeah, I've done I've done something similar to that. 
to that effect. But uh, you know, in 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 the, in the short side of things, I think that you know he he was frustrated as a child. You know, maybe uh, his father was extra hard on him. Uh, you know, you don't know his deal. He didn't. And, he didn't uh, want to go to you, summer camp probably because summer camps just where your parents yeah, send you because they can't be bothered looking right. after you. They just send you off, and you know, he maybe like you said, he was. But then he was more frustrated because he didn't have the super soaker like all the other kids. Maybe, yeah, but but, maybe, but leading you know, up to this, uh, they got, all got on great. They were skinny dipping. Tugging in the water, <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, it was all fun up and doing. You know, to go play hide and seek. You'd hide with your mate, and while someone's looking for you, you'd do a little bum fuckery behind the tree while they're trying to find you. you know, summer camp wasn't that bad. Don't get upset because you can get the right super soaker. Up until that point, you're having a good time. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay. You're getting yeah. the vision soon. I know you're just not letting them out. I know you're getting the same visions. You're being, you're, you're holding back here because he's your friend. You gotta go with God, Jimmy, and just go. You gotta vision. go with God on this one. <laughs> Stop holding back. Yeah, He's still I, I, do, talk I, to I, you. I, I have to. I have to. I have to admit, I do have visions. I do. I do <laughs> but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, you know, on the level because you know I do know him, and he's, 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 he's a good still guy. Still gonna talk to you just because yeah. you can see it. You might as well let him know what you can see. Then he might well, open up know, next time he talks. You know, he'll be like Jimmy. I, I, he'll, be like, thinking, he'll be like Jimmy. You know what? Since I watched that confession show. You were on the money. That did happen, and I've been holding it in. But now you've yes. brought it out. I, I feel like I can talk to you more about it now. This is I like a weight off my shoulders, Jimmy. I'm thinking. I'm thinking more. You know, and and I do know him somewhat, but I, I'm thinking more that it was an anger situation. So, you know, when uh, he filled up the guy's super soak with urine, and the kid. What about drank before it. that when they're skinny dipping, tugging in the water? Was he like tugging it hard because he was? I, well, I didn't hear about this. The skinny dipping. Oh, yeah. Was that? A, yeah, was that, that was like a, leading up to it. You know, when they went to summer camp. You know, boys will be boys. You know, there's no girls there, so they're gonna have a little tuggy tuggy and hide and go seek. You hide with your mate. Fuck, he hasn't found us yet. Well, why don't we just have a little fucky fucky while we're waiting for him to find oh find the log? You know, this sort of shit goes on in summer camp. Lee. You must have had a rough childhood, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the games I went to? Well. It's coming. It's coming out, Lee. It's coming out. I, I, look, this is the place to do it. This is why we're here. Yeah. We we let we let stuff out, oh, yeah. you know. Uh, I'm I'm thinking. It's not like you know, Jason Voorhees was there, was he? Oh, come on. Yeah, Jason. I, I'm thinking that you know he it was an anger. I'm thinking it was more. I'm going to lean more to the little the lighter side. I'm going to say it was more of a, an anger issue where he would you know he was like good that son of a bitch just tracked my piss. Good guy. He thinks he's all you know. He it's thinks he's all you know. He thinks he's all with that. He would you know f him with that super soaker. You know what I mean? I can't hear him. You know what I mean? That's something I would have did. You know I would have pissed at his super soaker. You know, and then he would have been super soaking everybody in the yeah. You would have Jimmy. You would have just grabbed the kid by the throat, choked him so he's like ah, and just pissed straight down his throat. <laughs> oh yeah. wow! Yeah, probably I would have. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Just, I, know. I, I I got the visions, Jimmy. You can't lie to me, okay? Even though you're going extra yeah. sensitive I actually because feel, he's your I, mate. I, I, I have you're fucking tiptoeing around this one, yeah. buddy. <laughs> when I was in, <laughs> when I was in sixth grade, I I have to confess when I was in. Okay. I have a lot of stuff harboring. You know, I that's why I, I every morning I pray to Jesus I actually forgive this yeah, because I've done well. things in my I've done things in my life where <laughs> and they still bother me till today, even when I was Okay, what's this one? What's this yeah. one at six years old that bothers you, Jimmy? Uh, I was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So uh I, I ended up uh, I don't know uh, having it out with this guy and the whole the whole sixth grade was in the hallway, you know, mm -hmm. like oh Jimmy's got a brawl with this guy, Billy. You know, it was a whole day. everybody was there, you know, and I ended up going, I don't know, dragging a guy. Was his name there. Billy? Was his name Billy? Yeah, his name was Billy, yeah. Okay. And uh <laughs> I, I I stuck his there was a the toilet bowl in there and it had turds in it and everything. And I shoved his head in the toilet and yeah. I was flushing the toilet with his head in the toilet, you know what I mean? That, that, was, that, that was a nice man, you know what I did. Did you, know you know pee I mean? on his head while it was in there? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't know. I was so angry. I don't know what the hell I was angry about, but uh, I had a lot of angry, you know, anger issues myself when I was younger. Very bad. Very bad. I used to destroy stuff, mm. you know, just out of the whims, just start smashing. Yeah, just imagine, that, imagine that a kid you're doing that to, you're on summer camp and you're doing that to him, and he looks up, and as you got that anger there, he just unstuds your fly, gets out the shizole and starts... The anger would have went away. It would have turned to love, and you just would have went out and played ball after that at summer camp and got on great. Yeah, I guess that. that, that would, I guess if that would have happened, yeah, I, guess, I guess yeah, that would have been a shock. Yeah, maybe you know, like, you know, I've, absolutely. Yeah, if that that happened, yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> I don't know how to comment to that, but you know, uh, you know. I mean, usually when you're in the fit of anger, uh, and I'm shoving a guy's head in the toilet, I don't think he's thinking. Hey, about and he takes one good blow job to calm you down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his buddy, you know, but not not him. But yeah, okay. I, well, I can see be that. greedy, be greedy. <laughs> Oh my God! I know, but you certainly tiptoed around your friend there. Let me say that, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I did. I tiptoed because I know the visions you got there, and you weren't being truthful, so you don't have to confess yeah. about not being truthful. I mean, if he was uh, somebody else, uh, I would have definitely elaborated a little. I would have stretched it out a little more. Well, yeah, because sure. the, you're filling the blanks powers that are infallible. Yeah, I, I yeah. you know, I, I okay. I like, let's pretend. Like guy, let's pretend so, that yeah. was Shane. Let's pretend that was Shane on summer camp. And Shane just wrote in and said that's what he did. What are you seeing, Shane, actually happened to Shane? Oh, if, if Shane uh, did something yeah. similar like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, then I would say that he's... He's not he's, he's, he's Yeah, he's got oh. some issues. And, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he was getting off on the urine in the, uh, in mm. the super soaker, and the guy's drinking his urine, and he got very excited. And he mm -hmm. went into, the, he went into the, the locker room, and he uh, took care of himself mm -hmm. because... You know, the but urine, you, don't, you, don't the you don't see them all like the early that week. You don't see them all skinny dipping and playing in the sleeping bags together and that sort of thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Playing hide yeah. and seek. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Rolling in the sleeping bag like a little stuffed pig in a blanket. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And what's that game when they blindfold you and they spin you around? Uh, pin, the, you... Pin, the tail on, pin the tail on the donkey. Yeah, but it wouldn't be that game. It would be like, you no, know. No, it'd be like, it'd be like they spin you around <laughs> and your mates are standing in a circle with their shalols out and you're going around. Yeah, you got to guess who it was, how big the schlons yeah. is, how small yeah. it is. Yeah, <laughs> you're seeing it, you're seeing it, Jimmy. I know. Yeah. Oh, that's fake. Summer camp. <laughs> oh, that's Louis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's Leroy, that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my God, yeah. You hung like a horse. <laughs> is that a snake? Is that a snake in the cabin? <laughs> Out of Conda. <laughs> you know what? On that yeah. note. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Your, your friend's going to call you next week. Okay, what you, know what that, you know, I got to listen, Lee. You know, you know what that bell reminds me of? Like, so we, we just did all these confessions and mm -hmm. confessed ourselves. And now it's like the doors of hell opened up <laughs> and the <laughs> bell's ringing and it's calling us back in. It's like, you welcome know, home. Like, welcome like we, home. Like, you know, like, you know, when your mom rang the bell and, and yep. back in the 60s, it was mm -hmm. time for dinner. That bell is oh, ringing. Look at, it's going it's, green. It, it's calling us back. It's calling us back inside. Right. Let's get that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> There's the hellfires taking over. Yes, you know, hey, even, hey. even the even the dog got upset with that bell. <laughs> it is it is demonic type bell, isn't it? Oh Jesus! Look at all the lightning going off. Yeah. Yeah, it I'm looks like it looks like it looks like Tyler's looking up at the light as it's pushing him down to hell. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> bye, bye. Drag me to hell. <laughs> but that was a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> that was very good, Tyler. Very. Did you go to acting school or theatrical school or anything? Because no, I just very well. pulled that out of my ass there. No, oh, yes, he oh, did. You know what happens in theatrical drama school? Oh, <laughs> I do. That's I another do. story. Yeah. That's another well, he just, confession. He just said something about. That's another there, confession. We're out of time. <laughs> Tyler. He's just what happened to drama about, school, Tyler? He just did say something about his ass, didn't he? <laughs> say something about his ass? <laughs> you, you did. <laughs> Uh, now you look I mean, like a fucking Martian. I know. This is ridiculous. Remember that TV show, My Favorite Martian? Yeah. With Bill Bixby and the other guy? Remember that yeah, show? Yeah, I love that. I love that show. Yeah, it's a good I one. And his antennas. The antennas I, 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 I got to say, Lee, that bell sounds like it's it's time to go home. Back home. It is. Back yeah, it's weird, man. Really weird. It calls you back. The tones. Wow, it's like it's over now and you guys need to come back. You picture like monks in monks in hooded robes just dung in the bell. <laughs> yeah. they, they all put the hoods on and they all walk Damn. slowly through the gates. And then the gates with the fire sticks, like slowly. sticks of fire, yeah. carrying the torches of fire. You know, we gotta make. I said this once before. We gotta make a little short movie, Lee. Tyler produce it, and yeah. we'll yep. make and we'll put our imagination together and make a little short film. I think mm. that would be fantastic. It'll have it all. Love, romance, comedy, drama, Everything. action, yeah. sex. Evil, good. Yeah. 
Well wrapped <laughs> Evil, up. Good. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, perfect. I, we'll talk about it next show. Uh, yeah. we'll, make it a, we'll make it a snuff film. I don't know about that, but you know, you know, we'll we'll, we'll definitely well, we can it. find some homeless to snuff off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so here we go. People, fans, yes. loved ones. Yes. There's the link. Please write in your confessions so we can talk about it and like and subscribe because we love you guys. And I know that you guys love us because we get the we get the texts all the time. Yeah, we love you, Tesso. So yeah. Tesso, we yeah. love you, Sorry, man. Tesso. And uh, we're only joshing, you know what I mean? So Oh yeah, we're just up, a couple guys joshing around. You know, don't don't get upset, you know, because yeah. uh, that's what Lee and Tyler and myself, that's what we do on the show. So uh, please Everybody we speak the like truth it. from the heart, from the God. We do. God we, you know, we, we, you know, we BS, but we had a little truth in there too. You know, we kind of like a little bit of both. You know what I mean? Uh, we're good at that, making a little like a salad bit of oregano there. and parsley and a bit a little, of fucking a little, a little toss pepper. salad. Yeah, yeah. A little toss salad. Yeah, there we go. I'm sure Jimmy's got a toss salad story for next week. <laughs> He's so, probably got you one know, back this summer. You know, it's like a the show is like a good chef. You know, you got to know the right ingredients to throw in there. Oh. You know what to leave okay. out. Okay, you know. okay, fucking emerald agassi. You know how hey, to how to, how, to, how, to, how, to, how to mix it. You know. Hey Baxter, how you going, Becky? Hi, hey. Lee. You see, hey Baxter. Jimmy? He's like, get me out of here. I, I want to be no confess. part he of this. Like my, he looks like <laughs> my cousin <laughs> Robin. What's he look like? My cousin Robin. I got to say, there's a, there's a big <laughs> likeness there. <laughs> You're not. He's like cousin Robin. Uh, oh, feels anyway. sorry for your cousin Robin. No, Robin, <laughs> Robin, <laughs> Robert, uh, Robin. Yeah, yeah, Robin, yeah, Robin. You're like Robin E. Lee, like a Muppet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always break his chops, man. That's what See we do. We have... All right, your silly confessions in all your crazies and stories. You. Thank we you. Love you. I'm gonna go read the comments the last the last show we did. I didn't read all the comments. <laughs> we'll take a look. You, you got to share them with me, Lee. I will. I'll find some good ones. <laughs> Yeah, please, people, write, you know, subscribe, like, subscribe, and please write in your confession. Don't don't think, you know, like, oh, I'll let the other guy write in the confession. No, no. write it in. You know, write it in. Yeah, it has to be, even if it's just an experience, a life experience. You're gonna be you're gonna be anonymous anyway. So like I yeah, said, nobody's gonna scared, know who the hell you are. If you're too right. scared to really open up, that's okay because Jimmy and I will fill in the blanks for you. Yeah, we'll fill no in the we'll in the blanks. <laughs> <laughs> you can just write in and say, Hi, my name's Steven, and we can just Tell your story from there. Don't <laughs> <laughs> it's all to do. That's all we need. We just need a name. Are. We just need a name, and we can just go with it. <laughs> just, <need a> name. <laughs> just give oh, us sure. a name. My name's Stephen, and I'm sitting in the park. That's all we need. That's all we need. <laughs> give us a name and location, and we'll and we'll tell your sins. Hey, we'll fill it in. Believe me, we'll fill it in. <laughs> you know, with a lot of color. It's like oh, a color. Jimmy, Jimmy and I would be good on that I, TV show. Do you ever had that TV show whose line is it anyway? Yeah. Where they just walk in a room and they're put in a situation and they just have to start carrying on with what's happening. We'd be good in a show like that because we could just go in there. Yeah. And, you know, because they walk, they might dress them in a doctor's suit. They walk in, they go, We're glad you're here, doctor. It's such and such. And then they have to get into character and just make up shit on the spot. So we'd be good yeah. on that show. Yes, good. I, listen, I think this show is like a, a, a painter's canvas, all right? <laughs> and and like, you know, so like but like now he's turning said, into Van Gogh. Like I know. the guy the guy just uh, has a canvas a painting and just a bench, a park bench is on mm. it, or a tree or a fire hydrant. And then me, you know, Lee, me, Tyler, you know, we will fill in the rest of the now, picture for you. Did you have that TV mean. show, Mr. Squiggle, where they send in a couple of lines and this puppet with the pencil nose? would draw the lines together and make a picture out of it. And he'd be like, oh, Miss Jane, Miss Jane. She's like, what is it? She's like, turn it around. Oh. Into a whole beautiful picture. People would yeah, just yeah. send in lines on a page <laughs> and this puppet would join the lines together and make a picture out of it. So oh. what like I was saying is we're like join the dots. You send yeah. in the dots. Connect the dots. And Jim exactly. and I will connect all the dots together and make, Absolutely, make a 100%. story. Do it. Make a story from yeah. it. Yeah. And you might enjoy the story. So, you know. I Please. do. They, okay. right. they don't. Sure we do. <laughs> we sure will. All right. Send your confessions and see you next week. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>